What's going on everyone? Fluff here. Starting off Broken Age from Double Fine. Point and click adventure game directed by Tim Schafer. You might know from the, the Monkey Island games, things like that. We'll make like magic. Good stuff, basically. Good pedigree. Let's make sure we are good on all this stuff. We're good. Controls. I, don't, I guess I'll stick with what we got right now. Hmm, maybe I should be using a controller. Eh. Figure it out as we go. Brand new game. I love the graphics. Let's see her story. Bella. Like, literally, Bella. no context. Are you out here, Bella? Just into it. I guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Yes. Valoria Bistenda Tartine! Let us face the cupcakes. Bella! Yeah, the animation style is beautiful, is actually. Ah, sugar bunting. Where the sweetness is baked right in. I might actually make sure that we have the subtitles on. I think people would appreciate that. Sugar, Sugar bunting. bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. You looking for me? There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No! <laughs> I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's oh. Feast. Dream on! <laughs> Come on, Pokey! Pokey! Double time yeah. from Double Fine. Hello? Very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time <laughs> over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial oh. knife. <laughs> oh, Gramps. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Don't touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. Damn. That explains Yeah, there's a lot. your energy. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Alright, fair enough. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special ah. one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Times are tough, Bella. We only have one knife. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? No, no, Can I take no, a white no. cupcake? You eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it's her special <laughs> day. Let her have all the cupcakes she wants. 
except the red ones. Thanks, sis. Can I see... Where's my, uh... Ah, there's my inventory. Got a cupcake and a towel. Nope. And I guess we can switch over to that other guy for some reason. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. All right, Gramps. Spill it. You hide that knife? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Ah, yeah, it's kind of a cupcake. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame, shame feast. feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense. Brommel. <laughs> Brommel Beastender, what's the deal with the Maiden's Feast? Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft. Became a Cupcakes? ton of yeah. bakers. <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid Before it for a reason. Before you say something offensive. You did what? Oh, nothing. Hid it for a reason. Well, he said he wanted a cupcake. If there was a day to splurge, it's today. Here you go, Gramps. For me? I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> what an that? No, let's split it, Gramps. Split That's it with nice. you? Deal. Ah, there's the knife. Oh wait. Oh. Alright, I guess I should have taken the knife while he had it out. Alright. Gramps, I just saw the knife. Come on, man. Now I gotta take another cupcake. Uh, why not? Split it with you again. Watch me do this like ten times. Die of diabetes. Let's split this. Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have ah. the whole thing. Suit yourself. <laughs> now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Alright. So now we got the knife for Mom. I wonder what Grandma's thinking. With her breadstick head. Avina? What is it, girl? What's up with your bread hat, Grandma? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would've cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, <laughs> and had us out the door already! Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden, <laughs> maiden training? training. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to like visit our Battle land. Battle Fantasy Mogs? Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. <laughs> I mean, look at me! <laughs> Just mess with Gramps the rest of the night? I like that idea. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have wow. seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying at to get my 84. age I'll never tell. Some fast LPWB math. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. <laughs> so in other words, beats me. Alright, thanks for the fact check there, Mono. Mog is the name of a Moogle. Good point. Okay. I think I know all I now need let's to talk know about, about your the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like you went to the Olive Garden and... doesn't look too happy about this feast. 
Your grandpa is just stuck in we'll the ways of the old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with <laughs> it as I have. So why don't we just fight? Well, I'd better go get this party started. Oh, finally! Got the knife after all. Did I leave it? It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Here you go, mom. I'm nervous. No, I didn't but mean that. Not suicidal. I hope that dress <laughs> isn't a scale. I'm nervous, but not suicidal. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? Why don't we just kill we got the Mom knife. Tothra? We got the knife right here. <laughs> here, here. Grandpa likes oh, it. Honey. Oh, we're going to miss uh, our sense of humor. No one takes me seriously. Majestic to behold. Awe inspiring. Powerful. Not enough breadsticks. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our mm. town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful Fun flowers size. as he passes through. Up for grabs. Please come, Mog Chopra. Oh and make God. your selections. Welcome Hot to Maiden's Feast. <laughs> what the heck? Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. <laughs> this can't be right. No, it's not right. Oh, oh, ah, it should Lord. be in the center. Ha, <laughs> I make my own. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we right. can use as weapons? <laughs> it does, but they're made uh. out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with... Joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. <laughs> Sheesh. Center of mass, maybe. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not <laughs> gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Uh, need some trading. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily right. in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come to my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. But no. Sounds good, but not half that as does look amazing. As drumstick. Never mind. It's all the best parts of medieval times. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. No more of these girls. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my <laughs> slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Sorry. The beauty is nothing. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Uh-oh. I hear oh, God. him. Oh, there God. Good lord. 
Yeah. Well, she was right. Are we still having fun? Uh. Oh. Huh. Hey, can <laughs> I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too uh. thin. This horrible thing? Sure. You got a deal. Ooh. What a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Uh. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That should have been me. So much for just one, huh? Oh. Uh. Can I borrow that <laughs> bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. No. <laughs> Saving the best for last? Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Water? What do you got? Need a towel? No. They taught us to eat dinner. my food again hey yo how about something bubbly to wash it down well thanks don't mind if I ah! look at me I'm so now you need the towel oh god Is he looking? quick quick help me put myself back together want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick I've got a towel here if you <laughs> tell me that drumstick you have a towel? Clearly did. Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? <laughs> what is this? Why? Are you the part <laughs> vulture or something? How can you think about food at a time like this? Here, Birdie. Oh, come on. Birdie's so and drumstick. Like, that's kind of weird. Birdie, oh, come on, so close. We got corset. There you go. That's it. Get us out of here. Oh, wait, blue wings. Here we go. Just a little bit. Hey, how about we split <laughs> this cupcake? You Hell yeah. The bottom half. Freedom. Get back here, you crazy brat. He likes it. That's my girl. She's doomed us all. Mug Chocolate's fury will soon rain down upon our village! And how many of us need die, Grandma? <laughs> She's doomed us all. <laughs> we got that achievement. Bird. Extra tight through a cloud. Rack! Just trying to get back on your egg. Ooh, a new recruit.
Groot. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. <laughs> Creeper. What? Oh. Oh my god. My first step will kill ya. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe, we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm sure. <laughs> this is a serious game. That would be a good game. Game over right there. That's too true. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff Super floating. Super important. Super important. Who's Jesse? That big blue owl uh -huh. you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, <laughs> take my advice. Stay away. Why should I talk to Jesse? Well, one of her eggs went oh. missing when she was out. She's yeah, totally she looks freaking suspicious. Out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute Cut to it. in her nest is fooling her. Nah. Right. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the greener code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who <laughs> speaks? Cause leaks. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy <laughs> instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. <laughs> Quiet. It's a cult. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise. Nice for cover, Mom's Dad. Birthday. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? High animation now. Oh, what? Volume. No, son. Try again. Gee, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Gotta equate distributed or something? It seems you concerned when I stepped over here. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig! No freestyling, <laughs> Chit. <laughs> Sorry, Pop. I'm okay with the freestyle. Let's do a manual save. There we go. It's nice to know that there's auto saves. They seem pretty efficient, too. Alright. Let's see. Let's see another person. I don't know how to get to him. Is that a path there? Okay. Hello. Oh, is that my knife? Oh, you need a knife. I told you to be careful. No one likes that. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. No one likes the I told you so, Bella. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid That's to fair. repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh -huh. My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? Yeah. I don't think those guys down there are right. working uh. as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since <laughs> I lost my knife. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging <laughs> us all up here. Does seem like a bit of a midlife crisis. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut. But I let my husband have his That's hobbies. Nice. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. 
That's what I'm saying. This thing. There you I'm go. just playing along. But how long should you entertain that careful? Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Wow, the hammer necklace. It's handy. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> you can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Oh. Until you came along. Where there's blame, there's a claim, Carol. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking <laughs> into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Area. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks ah. through whipped cream. Hey, can you make there me you a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. You're in luck. All right, no. Why I'd be don't rude. you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Cloud shoes. Um, can I reasonably go? Oh, I like the double click. Definitely got that Lucas Arts games. Oh god. Hi, I'm Mag. Maggie. <laughs> Hey, what's, what's that? that? Uh, nothing. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so sure. No, short, no, I mean. No, I. Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Fluffing her feathers in her hat. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight Sweet. down to the forest below. But Harmony took Look at that out. doofy bird in the background. <laughs> Photobombing the shot. I love that. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. <laughs> Maybe oh. I should just jump. Tried it. I died. No good. Whoops, a birdie guards catch ah, you and bring you back. Birdie. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. I like you, Maggie. You're chill. Huh? That's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise yeah. you. Okay. True. Hey. Nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud <laughs> shoes, but I Air get Jordans homemade. and whatnot. Oh, but don't tell her I First. said that. The shoe thing is <laughs> all she's got. Little Link. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Nice to meet you, McGee. Those oh, don't that's look my like knife. Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't yeah. land on anybody. Yeah. There's blame, there's it's a claim. Extendable. It's extendable. <laughs> How extendable? Because that was pretty handy. Sweet. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. It's going to come in handy this entire game. Let me give this knife to... They're all now. Nothing else. This looks like I'm trying to murder her. From that, but here you are. Say, that's some knife. Gotta Pretty be nice saved. Nice <laughs> heft. Ooh, damn Ooh, right. Blood gutter. No, that's oh. for the filling. The less I know about the knife's <laughs> history, the better. Here. Sweet. Oh, so much for that knife Thanks. coming in handy the entire uh... game. I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be 40. grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Like that look she gave her. Let's 
we got going on. Love the double click. Oh, it's, uh, some of the, uh, other, well, one of the other. You all right? Hi. Hi. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. Didn't get eaten, you can't though. tell? Oh. Jeez, it's worse <laughs> than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast, too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked, either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up Dang a fight right. and got away. You... That's a thing. What? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's he okay. didn't get picked. That's, That's okay. Lie. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. Sweet. I don't need any. Oh. All right. Better fitting shoes. I'm gonna sit here forever. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Hmm. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's oh, disappointed too face. true. I know that one. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. <laughs> I'm used to it. That's sad. Alright, we pop these babies on. Sweet. We can go a few extra spaces now. Nice. Her? Hi there. Inside, okay. It's your deal. Please place your offer from in minions. Bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh. Yes, excuse me, father. No, fur, <laughs> Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is <laughs> Cass. That's true. You really don't know when that uh, vowel goes out. All bets are off. Do you think Harmony could tell me how to get off this cloud? Oh, I wouldn't ask Brother Lightbeard that. It would totally get him down. <laughs> As if that's possible. He is so buoyant. Yeah, what's... I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. <sighs> Good point. Last time I checked, most ladders yeah, go we found our way directions. out. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. <laughs> so, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they of make course. an offer. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters. About these oversized but shoes the I put zero behind. thought into. Huh. Weird. I, I hear Lightbeard. I keep thinking of the uh, the, the insults they threw at Buzz Lightyear. Whatever you I'll say, Mr. Lightbeard. Stay light. Hi. Hey, McGee. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. A lot of birds here. Oh, there's a golden egg. I bet we can get to use this ladder, right? It's adjustable. 
<laughs> oh. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an Seriously. important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. <laughs> Jerk bird. This is all your fault. Alright, let's see know where the egg is. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. You a friend of Jessie's? Don't take this personally, bird, but... I gotta get out of here. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Ah. Hi. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, uh. welcome back. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Good yeah. to see you again. You Hi, Birdie. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. I was making fun of you. Is that a different path? No. Okay. Can't bury me next to you, Sam, good right now. Good birdie. Good birdie. But I have the shoes. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry <laughs> I said you were part I did of vulture. Alright. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. It's, it's extendable. extendable. Alright, let's use it up there. There we go. Trust you won't knock off the safety. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I just gonna take the ladder with you. Okay, I guess we'll we won't be needing it to the left. And I guess she just knows it's that. It's extendable. Inexplicably. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Reach that That's spot. why we need the Maybe ladder. Find a low-hanging branch. Oh. It's empty. Oh, there you are. Hey, listen, I can explain. I was taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and... Hey, wait, wait, who are you? You're in big trouble, young man. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% <laughs> sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! 85% sure. I can't reach back that far! Like, that's, uh... Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last Checks week. out. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so <laughs> I can grab on. <laughs> no way. What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Well, no <laughs> hang in there, kid. Please unhook my underwear from the branch. Can you just please unhook the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and he help me. So sad, that Gus. Make up for some hygiene demerits. Yeah, I'm not sure he wouldn't just grab me and we both die. But I'm super trusting. Let's try it. Oh. Hey! Great! Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it! Huh. Uh, uh, uh. So, I thought I Bella was died that day. All oh, right, yeah. Where's that gonna put me? Oh, okay. Those are the biggest peaches I've ever seen.
It's empty. You'll be fine. Pungent. Let's see, is there another hole we can drop through? That might drop us. Oh man, this day could not get. Oh, where did that drop me? Try this one. Nope, nope. Where did that one actually drop me? like that should work. That drops me right there. Oh. Okay. And where Gus went. Maybe we missed out on a cutscene. He's fine, I'm sure, though, right? Gus? You're okay? Fine. Sorry, He's a trooper. just passing through. That's right. It's Jesse's egg. That means you get down there. Back up. Give this egg back to Jesse. Boy, is this thing heavy. Aww. That's nice. Aww. The reunion. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Wasn't anything, really. Mother and child reunion. I was gonna do the Paul Simon reference, but there you go. Heavy. Good thing. Hi. Hi. Now, right, let's see. Knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Jerk bird is right. All right, but we got the big shoes. Carl was right. Turns out Check I this am out. These shoes. It's all about area. Try it again. The guy bird. even need hooks. Like My ladder has hooks feet. Now. <laughs> Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. Yeah, you don't like it. That's right. It's <laughs> me, your worst nightmare. <laughs> hey, come back here and get oh. your come up and 
On second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Alright. Suck a jerk bird. Alright, we got two golden eggs now. Brilliant. Hi. Like Maggie's just desperate for a friend. It's not us or McGee. But, you know. Definitely desperate. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Uh, hmm. About yeah. a peach? And pungent. A light offering. Harmony oh, will be all right. Didn't know it was that easy. We didn't have the peach before, though, so that works out. Wow. Visions of King Graham climbing up. Oh, my goodness. He didn't go that far. That was three screens. There's the, uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Oh my, a fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryland. Jack Black? Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. I like Jack Black. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out <laughs> of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite <laughs> mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Mary Loft whenever they felt like it? Good point. Everyone would leave? What? No! Mary Loft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. I could go kill oh. Malchathra? What an offensive I idea. Offensive. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoops of Birdie Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment <laughs> impossible. Escape, uh, enlightenment. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Son of a... Oh. Eh, it's probably just down there. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why... Well, you see... I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Fair enough. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. The Double Fine do, uh... That other Jack Black game where he's playing the guitar and everything? War for or the... the roadie, rather. Are you alright, bro? He's breathing. Got Better let him sleep. Night. Oh, get my peach back. Yeah, it's definitely Jack Black. Got three baskets. It's empty. Wait for it. Wait for it. Huh. I wonder what the weight limit is on that ladder. We should post <laughs> a placard or something. Hmm. All right, let's see. Manual save going here. Hmm. 
I wonder what the weight limit is. Here we go. Away. Hang on. <laughs> Bums. Uh. Brutal Legend, that's what I was trying to think. Brutal Legend. Did they make, did uh, Double Fine make Brutal Legend? I could see that. Hence them casting Jack Black in this game. At least for that part. I know we got Elijah Wood coming up. Oh god, it's <laughs> happening! They're coming! Alright, back for more Broken Age, and, uh, let's see, how do we, there we go, it's time to switch over to our other character. Ooh. Hey, rise and shine, son, you better get up, I'm almost off duty, your mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops, here she comes, have a great day, Shane. Stairs, my little angel! Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for There's my Elijah little Wood. this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies <laughs> came and wet your Mom. bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn oh. on the mean sound. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> what a good boy. Against my will. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. my morning routine. What's for breakfast? Choco Rockets. Ooh. Choco Rockets? Yikes. No way. Cinnamons. Cinnamons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. Honey holograms? Nah. No oh. thanks, computer. Ew. Uh, Yuck. You know I hate that. Sounds good to you. That's disgusting. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Just kind of want to see how many cereals we have on demand here. Man, that sounds horrible. Brain blasters? It's getting worse. Should have stuck with the choco. Whatever. Ugh. Take that away. Strawberry comet trails. Looks like the weird genetically... Muffed up toucan is bleeding all over my cereal. Please don't take this personally, but the computer made no that. thanks. Hold on, nutrient paste. Extra chewy. Are you kidding? Gross. Mutant munch. Mutant munch. Ooh. Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime. <laughs> that hand is gonna wring my neck in a second. That's the. Disgusting. That's coming straight out of that creature's little ew. I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splar. <laughs> oh, say this line, Elijah. Splarg. Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on, you love splarg. splarg. I guess we're having splarg. Ew. <laughs> Picky eater achievement. Good morning, Commander Shay. It is my honor to be your training, training spoon today. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. There might be food around. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Guess we're not going to 
Are we gonna... Once more into the Milky Breach! It's happening! Yeah, it's really uh... happening! Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating yeah. encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 <laughs> calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh Splark! Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Splark alarm? Okay, computer. Okay, What's the big computer. emergency? I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me <laughs> Captain, computer. <laughs> okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. Yeah. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, we, uh, <laughs> Captain? Uh... Avalanche, runaway train, friendship circle. Better suit up and investigate the foreign body. Uh, I guess the train? Let's catch that runaway train! Aye aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Exciting space mission, honey. We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Uh, let's check out the hull. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Oh, I don't like you going out there. So let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Outside the ship, the foreign body must be very close by. Yeah, it's safe. Check out the scarf, geeks. We're all good. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right <laughs> into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! 
Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one. To System 7. We're gonna cross oh, right, okay. the canyon! Wake Gotta up, bridge man! Back at the last we're second. No, it's a bridge! What an amazing idea! Really? Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? <laughs> That's not right. What are you doing? Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, that's very different. What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure you had a season! <laughs> Something Whoa! different, finally. Oh, God. That's not good. <laughs> oh, the close-up of the shiny spikes. Oh, they're all rubbery. Nice. Uh huh? Having oh. fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire a child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come oh. see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey! Wait! What? No, my key! Okay. Whoops. <laughs> No discussion about it, but. young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. The stalagmites were rubber. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <sighs> Weird. No missions. Whatever I can I do yeah. whatever. <laughs> it's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. <laughs> like we have those. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. It looks like a weird little there screwdriver. There you go. It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Damn it. Let's try that compressor with the raft. It's a tank of compressed air. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. <laughs> Whoa! It looks like a blow up a friend doll oh. of me. Oh, creepy. Okay. Oh, we could probably like I fake out mother. Sneaky. Hopefully, this looks enough like there me to fool go. the warden.
Only an hour and three minutes into this game. Back in. Where's my little angel? Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, <laughs> computers are stupid. I love that line. Ah, uh, good casting. All right, let's talk to this mysterious wolf guy. Whoa! How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you this is no game. A lot, bro. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful ah. and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep Don't you I know safe. It. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. This door is locked. This is a stealth mission. Not safe to use the hallways, understand? All right. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this wolf so far, but... Ah, the young master has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh, man. <laughs> a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything <laughs> embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be made to serve your passage. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. Nice. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing wolf drive. drive. Got out the wolf drive. Intake calipers sure. in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav start in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> no need to applaud. Just doing my job. Wait. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. 
Aww. Bring me a star uh. and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. It's like a, a lighter. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly Crazy. positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling sequence. Heck yeah! I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain mm. in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean... Our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. <laughs> now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Go on, move the ship. Careful. Wait hey, for yeah. it. Got another one. Much easier than Great. Space Quest 5. Now just place it in the cargo Rest hold and... Oh no. What is Bastard. it? Hostile forces like have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. And There's still so one cute. more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! no! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. <laughs> are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Alright, back to the weaver. Super bossy. That went pretty well. No reason not to save again. Like a bossy Yoda. Got a fresh one for ya. SW. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? It would be elementary. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calibers yeah. in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Make it so. Yeah. I guess that's all we had to say. And we're here. Please enjoy your stay and be safe. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? <laughs> Take a look at this. Are we ever? Oh, more little guys to grab. I would decide which ones we have. Rescue. Careful. Wait for it. Hooray! Excellent. Securing subject in cargo hold. Don't worry, she won't detect our moving the ship. I've covered our tracks very well. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. 
Great work. Lady. Don't worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. I've covered our track. Five for five. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Don't wait oh, forever, no. though. Stop. Okay, Sorry. that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships what? are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Damn right. Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. Not on my watch. There is no need for this. It's just one. One more that we got. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We <gasps> need to retreat before. No. Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Great stuff! Everything's fine. Oh, uh-oh. Can't use that tomorrow night. Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> oh, so brave. <laughs> Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. I'm gonna get away this time. Just like that, I guess. Alright. Sup? Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver uh, what and do you hope mean, one for the off? best. What's your deal? So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Mm, I'm shifty about those eyes. Yeah, this is the second one. Are you really a wolf? Are you really a wolf? No, oh, I yeah. wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, Good that's question. a wolf suit? What are you... underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. <laughs> Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good... instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Get everything. Merrick. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a... How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power 
They have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. Yeah, I've been playing this on and off. How are we going to take down the ship's shields again? Live. Place We're the Omicron inhibitor I gave you over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. Can you tell me how we get to Prima Doom again? Take that star chart I gave you to the Space Weaver. The star right! Chart. The star chart. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Alright. This is Merrick's defibrillator. Inhibitor. Inhibitor. Right. And I need to put it on the confusion ball. <laughs> Fusion orb. Confusion ball. Wait, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. See what we can find. being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great Bella? honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that... I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Double click, I forgot about that. Got fishing, we can get some more explorer or whatever the hell it's called. It's an angry looking setting. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Alright, got us a space knife. Emergency rations only, so no splurg. Oh well. Didn't mean to get everyone all excited. Let's keep dancing up there, little creature. Doors. Uh, that's where we keep our trophies. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean <laughs> the junk room? Yeah. Person's trash room. No, 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 no. Wait, what? The person's treasure room. Hey, my, my head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. 
Uh, yeah, you just used uh. teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. What a sound creature. Look at it. It's repairing that teddy bear. It's taking it very seriously. It's like, ah, it's a living. <laughs> On a day's work. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in ah. diaper leaks. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. So that's a hexy pal. She bronzed my first Wish we space all had shoes. A hexy pal. Or is that the remains of my old bomb squad bot? I wish she'd get rid of these. My paper mache is so much better than that now. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to... That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid oh, missions on this ship. Okay. Savage. Where are we now? Judging by the wolf uh, here, this must uh, be where Merrick's is. shed like crazy. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own yeah, safety, I guess. I guess. I have my dad. Oh, okay. So that's where that connects there. Mary. Okay. Can you tell me how we get to Prima Doom again? I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. It's very much a window of opportunity. Games. Like, uh, I was thinking of the dig where he goes, Brink. He's about to talk to somebody or Maggie. Maggie. Brink. Just when you click on him and open all the dialogue trees. Well, Merrick Steel is. Hey, Hexapal, I guess you don't need oxygen. Good for you. Dance in the hexes, though. Uh, more teleporting? Save again. Uh, let's just do the same one, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, there's the connection. That's what I was thinking of it. Um... You are asleep. Oh, that's not gonna be a problem. That one seems like it's awake. Uh... Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now my uh. head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing oh. with fire, kid! Okay. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Window washing. Little hex about. The big banana split. Delicious. Ah, I'm in over my head. So bright, fun, and colorful. So it's like Raya group. <gasps> Buddy. Hey, can we run uh, the attack mission protocol? Uh, uh, sure! I think I know what you need! What? I know the
aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? <gasps> or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was a... Yes? Uh, <laughs> oh, <attack>! <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. What the heck is pouring out of your back? Sticking out there, is that? It's like a cigarette butt, like a... Hey, pencil. missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. It's not an act! I think I pulled a muscle in that last Look attack that. you gave me! My back is killing me! Hey, I didn't attack you. No, I you guys attacked me. Is that what you came <laughs> down here for? You're a dick, Shay. Fingers? <laughs> hey, can we run the attack mission protocol? Perfect. You oh. can use it in your acting. Leave me alone. Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. Oh. Guess we have whatever that is now. amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, I gotta go. It's not getting any bigger. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Duckman was great. Duckman in the chat. Ocean Alexander. Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the Avalanche Mission Maybe. Protocol. Hey! We're supposed to be on break! Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. You know. Uh, just chilling. Uh, <laughs> He's been waiting for you to ask that for a long time. I'm aware of Syphil and Ollie. It's a whipped cream, cream gun. gun. And it's mine. <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction when you stumble across a whipped cream gun. And it's mine. Where else can we go? Ah, uh, that connects to the... Okay. Alright, we got plenty of stuff. Whipped cream gun. Contrary to popular opinion, not in the kitchen. I guess I could just like walk in through. What? Oh no, no, no. We still gotta go. Here. Armatory is popping. <laughs> so excited, the space weaver. Comes to work every day with a smile, ready to weave. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting feature of all. Might I suggest somewhere safer, like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe the smile system? Smile system? Uh, is it? Smile system would be better. Let's try Puppy Planetoid. That sounds adorable. Cozy Cluster. 
Uh, cozy cluster? Fine. Cozy cluster it is. I'm gonna trick him. Okay. Ah, uh, we can like... Intake Looks like the space weaver has encoded the star chart into a Leave graph of nips and curves. I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger, or my head smaller, for that matter. Big in five, four, I don't think anyone would mind this. Two, Slight alteration one. here. I get? Oh my. I... I seem to have made an error in my meeting. Not sure how that happened, oh. sir. Shall I try again? Oh, uh, is there like a puzzle to actually like, do this the right way? Uh. Where shall we go today, wise commander? So, let's tell him whatever. Fine. Cozy okay. cluster it is. Hold up. Let's see what we actually need here. Probably just... Just alter it and that'll take us to the correct coordinates. Alright, let's see. Coordinates for... Okay, alright, um, alright, let's try this. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp Warning. drive. Hmm. I wonder if I could live with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you Shut up! Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. All the costumes don't make themselves. Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Looks like the Space Weaver has encoded the star chart into- If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Save? How do, I, how do you load? Seems I can still. We need to go here right away. Okay. Fine. He would not shut up. Preparing oh. yeah. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Looks like the Space Weaver has encoded Intake the star chart into a graph of nits and pearls. Weave thrusters at viscosity. That was pretty close cool. last time. I think this is it. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. Star I'm so sorry, young master. I will correct this right. What's that? I've oh, seen the other yarn. Humiliation! <laughs> humiliation! 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 Uh, I love it. Wow. He took that <laughs> really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Doomed. Oh, God. But Prima Doom, by the way, you stoked about that? Merit. I'd better get Brink. back to the mission. Where do you think the aliens are hiding out? Of your asshole, Commander. I love Brink and his, his uh, German sense of humor. He was German, or was he Austrian? I don't remember. Ludwig Brink. He was German. Now we gotta finish shrinking our head to teleporting. So let's go through the only one we haven't hit yet, here in the middle. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Oh yeah. <gasps> Could be terrible. I think that's all my head can take. 
You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. In a minute. Caution. Entering an area of strong holocron radiation <laughs> levels. Full radiation shielding necessary. Now we can wear our old helmet. Lay it on me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. A little snug, but go. I think it'll work. I'm not sure how long I can stand this way. Uh, that the thing, Wolfie. Told us to put the thing on the confusion ball. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Easy does it. Fair. Fusion orb inhibitor. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor until we're ready to take the shields down. And when will we be ready? As soon as you get us in control of those boom arms again. Right. Inhibited. I used to wear this radiation helmet. You gonna leave it on? Man, how tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Do it. Energize. <gasps> no malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> ow! Oh! Head normalization expedited. Ow! You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh no. It turns out that whole head trip yeah. thing was just faulty okay. wiring. One more trip and that head will oh. pop right off. <laughs> so again, I should try that. Look. Yeah, I don't know how the glass didn't slice into my uh my arteries and everything. But I'll take it. Anything else to do? Just making yes. sure you're safe. Okay. <laughs> Where have we not been? That's it. Anything is any toys? Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship, and the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Hmm. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and then lock it forever. Oh no! Don't even think it! What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. Worth it. Mike, your passengers oh, no. need free counseling. Please leave before they see you. Being operated by little hexapals. That's adorable. Can't I ride the train again? Ban. Ban is a ban. For life. The little hexapals are so happy. 
Can't I ride the train again? Still in therapy. I want a hexapal too. I want two. Airlock. <laughs> hexapal. I'm burning the midnight oil down there. It's eleven. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Make good dance together if you guys do. This is the first mission we did. Still got that present. We can get anything else if we uh, touch it this time. Open up. Like we got nothing for you. But this time, take it easy. <laughs> like we got nothing for you this time, Shay. Open up. But this time... Right. Check out that present, by the way. Come on. Puppy, 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 puppy. puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another grab and Rabbit carry rope. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Grab and carry robot. This air hose. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> a little smile. Oh boy. No air. <laughs> Suffocating. In space. Totally worth it. You're finally free, Shay. Oh. Mom and Mom pulls you back in. <laughs> She's not gonna let us go anywhere now. That's why we just saved. <gasps> Go right back out. We just do that again. <laughs> I'm shocked that they would let us go out again after that. Alright, this is a bit heady here. Still alive, dang it. Alright, where is where's the air? Let's see if this fits. Come on. <sighs> Alright, now we stuff. got our own air. But we can't. Where's the um? Now we can propel ourselves. So now we should be good since we got our own air supply. We now we're go. untethered. Heck yeah! Woo! There we go. Classic adventure gaming solution. I don't think so. Just at me. I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? Manual override. Those must be the ship's cargo boom arms. Man, There's those things are huge. Override. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Maybe if I could get this hatch open. No good. Stupid <laughs> fat hands. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Uh, knife, don't fail me. Let me try to... Oh, hey, uh oh, no, no not the face, <laughs> or the knife. neck, or the body. I'm free, free to cleave the infinite void of space itself. Yeah. I'll work that. Phew, that's a relief for a lot of reasons. Rats, can't 
can't reach. If only we have a little friend named Grab and Gary for just this situation. I think, I think Gary wants to <laughs> grab Gary that. Wants to grab. Okay, Grab and Gary. Looks like Gary it's wants Euro to grab time. anything. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. I grab grab the control. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? Uh, arms. Goodbye, Gary. You were the best present ever. <laughs> he fulfilled his purpose. Over here. What's that? We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. You may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields. And your remote control <laughs> for that children's toy, grab and grab it. Yes. <laughs> you may now press it to activate it. Grabbing, grabbing Gary. Gary. And thereby the ship's boom on. Your child wolf to say that. Careful. No! Okay. Dang. That's okay. Try again. Ah. Lost uh, my touch. See the creature. Dang. That's okay. Uh, well done. Now the next one. Wait for it. There we go. Get the back. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No! I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. <laughs> you said you trusted yeah. my instincts, right? I, I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know. Yeah, but it's Shay. important. Well, that thing is It's just flying. one creature. It's not worth the risk, boy. There is no need for this. Oh, not even close. Dang. We've saved... Ah, come on. Rats. Dang. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Like that. Did -de 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 -de. Huh? What's that? I... Uh, I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers! Attention! Ship uh -oh. is under attack! I can't see her anymore! Forget about the creature! We need to move you to a safe location! Come with me! Ah! Eric! Eric! Run! 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 Run!
run, Shay! Get no. somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. No! Shay! There you are. Something has happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe! Shay! Context. I love the idea that uh, this guy and Vela have just been awkwardly standing in this room for such a long time while Shay was figuring out his ventures in outer space. But we are finally back. I think it's time for them to talk. But not before she uh, she looks around. Hello? Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, I'm so okay? I'm nervous. Um, okay. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, really? Great! Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. <laughs> Have you always talked to trees? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Fair argument. I feel like I know this guy's voice too. Anyone know that voice? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults. Like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. I can imagine. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Yes. A weapon to kill Hector. Marchatra? <laughs> that dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in Maybe you should so see your doctor. Long. Yes, I like it though. A three-legged stool and make one of the legs a little loose so when Marchatra sits down on it, it'll break and it'll be not dead but embarrassed. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some uh, wood. Can you do? Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? <laughs> yeah. I feel like Bella's honest. No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air <laughs> in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. <laughs> but I'm not using my axe. You're welcome Looks to like it. Looks like already grabbed Ooh, it. Think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. <laughs> Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. <laughs> Good chat, Curtis. What else he got? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal Still his art. Still has axe already, apparently. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. I don't know, I feel like it would just catch fire if you used it to block off your fireplace. I don't know. Anything else? Or 
were stealing. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. <laughs> All right, Curtis. Not gonna tell you that they uh, weren't looking at you. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Uh, oh. Good save. <laughs> I know we talked about this a lot, but the animation is so lovely in this game. Every time I sit down with it again, I am reminded of that fact. Let's go out there. You ripped the trees out of this painting too? No, that one was ripped <laughs> when I bought it. Wear and tear are part of the charm of a vintage item. Mm. You ripped the trees out of this painting too? No, that one was ripped when I bought it. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Did I talk about the art? Hi. Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> it's a rude question. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding oh. of the work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, <laughs> duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting <laughs> sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Okay. Nice. I like that. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. <sighs> okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Not it? Hmm? Boss, it's a little drippy there, Curtis. And you're sure I can't take these? Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other oh. direction. Gotcha. Wait. <laughs> oh, east? no. Or was it west? Uh, meh. meh. Now you're on. Can we steal his mail, too? This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. How do you know in a while? You just got here. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Curtis is Looney Tunes. Uh, okay. Never mind. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Let's get in the mouth, kid. I could get used to carrying an axe around. I have a feeling I might regret this. <laughs> axe wielding psychopath, right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! I gotta run. Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ah! Ow! Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I'm losing the sound! Just that <laughs> Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Uh-oh. I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Did you know? Really? Yes. A 300 year old <laughs> spruce mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a. Oh, God, if I say it, I think yep. I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the Dumped old her. spruce? He. He butchered her. Turned her into a. What's up, Matthew? Oh, God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. You're ruined. 
Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Are you magic? Can you help me kill Mogchathra? Is that <laughs> all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. Just tell him it's the giant, uh, lumberjack. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Mm, it looks like she was thinking of a way to get sap out of you. I'd be a little worried. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like <laughs> the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly <laughs> useful <laughs> fluids. <laughs> you humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Ah, that's how it works. Hmm, maybe we can come back with something to catch his sap and then say, say the S word. Get him up chucking. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. <laughs> yeah, is that who Curtis was voiced by? Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just All like right. the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry? I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. All right. We'll figure something out. Hello, Shellmound. Looks like Mob Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Almost like, uh, what was it? What was Tony? Monkey Island. Almost has a Monkey Island back to it. Okay. The soundtrack. We have one like that back home for making upside down. I like cakes. buckets, though. Buckets are good for catching sap. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Uh, because you should be a mayor. Young lady, I like the way you think. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. Sweet For outfit. Now. Hey, about your bucket hat. I love bucket hats. What? what about it? I think they're cool. I cost you I should know. Don't, don't insult the man. I don't know if we should just keep, like, going straight for <laughs> begging people for stuff. You know, it looks great fancy. on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. Uh, I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and I didn't mean it like that. Here, take okay. this away from me. Thank you, child. <laughs> I'm firing my stylus oh, tomorrow. One line and this guy is reevaluating his entire everything. I need yeah, to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Hey, yeah, what's that about? Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy oh. clouds. With a hint of fresh oh, pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big uh. fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Mm, that might be a problem. When is Mob Chopra supposed to get here? Uh, Any minute! So much to do! Did you say there might not be a Maiden's Feast? The sea? She is angry this she was day. angry that day, my I'm friend. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away! Offering arena? Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where <laughs> the sand is. Hmm, can't argue with that logic. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. Uh. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. So, you're running for mayor of Shelmo? 
my hopes and dreams. Just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshal ship has washed them all away. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. I call the chill seagulls. Can I pet them? I can't touch this seagull, but I can touch these. Ew, it's like chum. These seagulls seem to really That's like fish disgusting. guts. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope it's empty. Not anymore, you got a bucket of chum now. As much as I would like right. some chum, I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open <laughs> container with those gulls around. Alright, we need a closed container for that. Oh, driftwood. Oh, so nice. Smooth. You can take this to our guy, Curtis. Excellent. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been hmm. stolen. No. Back to position one, everybody. Let's head back to Will, aka Curtis. Loving the double click as always. Hey, can you do anything with this? Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Check it out. <laughs> Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so know, right? smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool uh, coming out. What? <laughs> oh, um, whew, that's a relief. <laughs> and then he Tell me things. about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples Ew. around. I need a filter. <laughs> I blew myself. We should try the um try the bucket here. It's empty. We can get some sap. What can we say to him though? Oh, and now you're <laughs> decorating me like a Christmas tree? <sighs> Is there no end to the humiliation? <laughs> you gonna like give me some sap? Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. What to bleed us dry, mm. steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. I get him nauseous. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't right. do it because I refuse Clearly we need to, to make give him you nauseous. the pleasure of my sap. I'll let you get back <laughs> to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Oh, I still got that. I'll bet I can make a million off of this idea. Just my size. I'll bet I can make a mi- Have you ever seen cloud shoes? They're bent twigs, wrapped in you know, feathers. Well, the twigs might have fallen off naturally, so that's not gonna ah. make me sick. But I can't speak for the birds. He's giving a sense. He probably hate- I get what- Oh, that's like the art. Get the art. Oh, the stool, we carved this. Don't ask me how Curtis made this out of what looks like a tinier piece of driftwood to begin with, but all right. Sorry to do this to you, but... <laughs> oh my god, is that a mule? Oh no. Stand back, see, everybody. what Curtis does is he peels off the outer oh, layer god. of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. That looks so cruel. Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> Before he begins the Ew. deep carving. I'm not even tree, and that sounds <sighs> awful. Oh, sorry. Did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave. Before you vomit anymore, you mean? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my right! 
ladies. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Uh, I used to be, yeah, I, I was in my own. I want to be in the maidens feast. Of course you do, poor <laughs> thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, <laughs> just as a friend. You just don't smell yeah, right, girl. On my scent. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. She's got all the hooks from those, uh, probably from the fishing poles. Hey, maidens, I'm gonna kill Mog Chathra. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh. <laughs> Half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. <laughs> uh, that tree did fall from my plan. What a sap indeed, Matthew. That that one got me. They're all pretty good, but that one got me. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. <sighs> I can't uh, believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. I don't even get bucket anymore. Why am I the only one who seems to be worried about getting eaten by Mog Chatter? Everybody else seems to be up for it. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? Her to save the town, I mean. <laughs> um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Nice costumes. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every yeah. hook in town, but it was worth it. We need, if we're gonna get those hooks, we're gonna have to make some sort of deal. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I have some of that perfume? That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Sounds like that might be exactly what I need. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? <laughs> That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. <laughs> it's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. <laughs> if I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Mm. See you maidens later. Ciao! Yeah, so. That's true. Nothing more enchanting about not knowing whether or not the lady has any arms. You rich. Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden. <laughs> the ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Mm. No, my so he right. drops the sand. And then what? Now to the, right. the water just washes it away? We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. Flip his dick. Raise it now gently. Okay, okay, so far, so okay, far. Okay, and then, uh, okay. Man, <laughs> you, angry sea. All right, do we have anything that can help with that? With this bucket of tree guts? Wow, the sap is super thick. He's giving us a hint here. You want the bucket of sap? Maybe that'll keep the sand a stick? Here, this will make your sand oh, mixture yeah. stick together better. Really? I don't. How do you know? I'm a baker. I know. Because I was able to click on you. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? <laughs> What's up, TK? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Let's watch. Oh. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Heck what yeah. I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're Heck in yeah. business. 
All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. Marshal Dune? Marshal Dune. Mm -hmm. Those shell those maidens shell won't share their monster bay with, with me. Please, that's terrible. I know. They won't give me a single drop. No, I mean it's <laughs> terrible what a tattletale you are. No perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, oh. young lady. I guess I can respect that. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Unfortunately, you just don't have the right scent for it, my child. Better let you get back mm. to the feast. Yes, yes. These Maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Time for the talent portion. Let's practice. Omog, <laughs> shine your light on me. Omog, okay. shine your light on me. Ew. Thank you, subtitles. Girls, you need to take this seriously. <laughs> Two, three, four. Sighted stranger approaches. I sense it as well. Not so fast. Uh. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. But the dead eye god sees no one. Why do I get the sense it's just like two kids each standing on top of each other's shoulders? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Queen. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? That was just a, uh, just, just a guess. Because you guys are guarding it, so must it must be cool. be cool. Oh, it is extremely mm. cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No Not one. you guys. Well, unless... <gasps> what? Well... If she could solve the riddle of Yorn... Oh, yeah! If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be Clutch worthy. Clutch mystical music. No problem. Mm. Is there Kathy protection here? Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Uh. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Uh, <laughs> refreshing beverage? Maybe a refreshing like beverage? Tear, no thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under mm. this robe. Diet and another barnacle kid. juice over here. But okay. Hey, can I get you guys something? Yeah, did anyone like get that riddle what? in the chat? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> that was easy enough. Just fill that up for me if you could. <laughs> thanks. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Who is the Dead Who's Eye God? Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracles. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the riddle either. <laughs> Someday he will rise to return our Vulcan sight Hall. and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle yeah, objects that were, that, like, Bella. weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more! Mm -hmm. Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Cool. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind <laughs> yourself. Dead oh. eye. If the Dead Eye God has no need for sight, 
Then neither do we. Huh. What if it's like, I don't know, lead eye, and you just misunderstood and you blinded yourselves for no reason? Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Because it's kind of yeah. cold out here? The Dead Eye Pyramid provides. Can I go inside? Uh. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Well, let's see if we have what they want in our inventory. Part of the sweet art. I have a piece of art here that is the solution yeah. to your riddle. Does it have a pit? Oh, or a pit. children? That's my Not page. really. Okay, I retract my statement. There you go. Check it out. Fruit. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer yeah. to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit mm -hmm. inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. <laughs> Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told oh, us this gosh. morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. Everyone's so, got a Becky uh, Yorn in their can lives. Can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Okay. I'm going in. Okay. Okay. Cool. Guess this is where they buried their old god. Such strange shapes in here. I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. Oh heck, look at that. It's that same religious symbol. But this there one is, is reset. What's this supposed there to is. be? A little man with a bag. Heck yeah, look at that. Perfect fit. Thank you, Curtis. What the heck? Ah, uh, man, my mouth tastes like death. <laughs> oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Uh, what? You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come are along like and find Tinker it. Are you like Shay? Who are you? Are you the dead I got? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. <laughs> Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's, uh, that's kind oh. of a relief. They were a that's little great. annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysalation to tell you the <laughs> truth. That's a good way to get rid of the people in your life. Was it actually hurting them or yourself? Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. whoa. There's a giant monster hey, that is whoa. destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, Not I just need to take frozen. down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Thanks, future Shay. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Hmm. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. I like this guy's chill. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there? Laruna. What's all this equipment do? 
This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was the mission? What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Uh -huh. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Bummer. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Uh-huh. Terrible things happened, and I landed here. It was terrible. Okay, see ya. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Ooh, pretty colors. Oh, what? no. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for Suck, that. Bella. I do have stained glass, though. I don't think Curtis will miss this much. That's that. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not yeah. bad. And you even got it in the right slot. That was a guess, but thank you. The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it uh, back. Uh... The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. There, it's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. On second thought... Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. Maybe I'm just cleaning it. Too. He's giving us a hint here. Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? He doesn't seem to mind, though. He's just like, okay. Nailed it. Oh, what no. have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but Think that would only it. produce a powerful, <gasps> weaponized... Yes. Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. <laughs> Yay! That's my mantra. Let's test it on that seagull. And I told Becky, you're yeah, so ugly. It, Becky. I'm glad I'm blind. Ha ha! Ha ha! Okay. The targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Uh. Oh, joking. Oh, wings. Okay, shut it down. <laughs> Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel uh -huh. right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to uh -huh. need it. I like that guy. Oh, Mark, shine your light on me. Okay. Is there anything else to put this coming? It's all out of holy tear gas. Wait a minute. Looking at this uh, chum Come to me, old <laughs> chum. It's a magic I mean, bun. When is this not going to come in handy? There's a lid on it. Not quite, dear. Listen closely. What's up, Sir Andy? I don't like it. Do it just like that. Oh, chum! <laughs> this immediately throws it away. Ugh, gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really uh -oh. wasn't me. Run, lady. Ah! Ah! 
This perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chakra about you, Drusilla. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. It says Beast Hooker. Who wouldn't want to save? We haven't saved this entire time. Save for TR is 29 minutes. Uh, all right. Back off. He goes nothing. Oh man, <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. I just like that if we don't do anything, this is going to happen forever. <laughs> Cute little seal. That one up there is just chilling. All right, we do this thing now. Marshal Dune? Marshal Dune. Mm -hmm. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Damn right. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments Finally to got your the right grandma. smell. Truly monstrous. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. Today. This way. Follow me. Get ready to fire that thing. Run. Come here. It's time now. It's charging oh. back up. Fire away. Okay. Fire away. That's two. Gotcha. Do it. Almost there. There's more where that came from. Now, hold still. Do it. No good. Recognize me, don't Time you? Time for payback. Are we gonna... Okay. Hit it! Hit it! Take the shot! No good! His mouth is closed! Uh, what do we got to open it? I'd shove my... Shove my foot closer. I'd shove my stool right into it. If I thought it would do anything. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Short things can surprise you. <laughs> ha! Whoa! Sure, glad we kept that. Hit it! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. I need to wait. Do it! Die, monster! <laughs> Die quick! Or we're gonna have a meltdown up here. Oh, 
Umbrella! Yeah, we just get hit by a, a big wave. Small things can surprise you. Like a little cat let's play. Finally, meet. Hey. Whoa. Don't tell anyone. What's going on? Is that extinctor up there? Target acquired. This from a what? Ah, rats! I thought I had that one. Were you trying to oh, stab yeah, so... me? Why? Don't take it personally, kid. It's just That's what true. I do. For instance, just a minute ago, I took down this whole ship. After ripping the very fabric of space itself. To you, you got off easy. Just when I thought things couldn't get any stranger. Um I know you'd be back. Something tells me you're a girl who knows the value of Yeah, I had one life. in the first bit. <laughs> That's confirmed. Can I just confirm that you are a talking knife? Because I'm trying to figure out if I'm losing my mind. Or just mildly hallucinating. Oh, I'm the real deal, kid. <laughs> I technological model. <laughs> sharp. Sharp, too. You didn't even have to confirm that that was the talk tree earlier. Why do you gotta check on this knife? What are you doing inside the monster, Mob Chathra? Monster? Kid, you are inside the spaceship Bassanostra. Uh -oh. All red. Just outside of it, actually. We're outside of a spaceship? Then how can I breathe? Don't ask me. I'm solid yeah. state. I gotta admit, though, this ship and everything around it has been acting a little nutty since I cut it. But that's to be expected. Who's the captain of this ship? Well, the other kid who just tumbled through that bright spot in space, that's the one we called Commander. But the real brains of the operation, we just called Mom. Where can I find Mom? It's me. I haven't heard from her in a while. But hey, I didn't stab her. You can't pin that on me. I bet you did. You're coming with me. And for the record, I took down oh. this ship. Whatever. Ride's a ride. <laughs> I can still see the sky through that hole in space. Weird. Yeah, that's a little strange. Attention, current altitude below recommended level. Outer hull breach detected. Anything? Looks like this thing took some damage from me. <laughs> hmm. Nothing seems to be going in. A good knife is handy to have around. Even when it is cut. They're already cut. Mm. They're already cut. Attempting emergency takeoff. They're already cut. They're already cut. Warning, ship off axis. Gyro stabilizer. Hey, Pointy, online. you actually any good at cutting stuff? 
The name's Dutch. And the answer's yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally. Thanks for that. Thank you. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Mm, Anti gravity field unavailable that. during hull breach. Wait, did we pick up the uh I didn't mean to help okay. Initializing Starfield repair. Function unavailable. Reinitializing Starfield repair. I want to know what this is. Function unavailable. What is that? A goldfish ball? Oh. No, oh, it's a uh, Shay's helmet. I guess space helmet makes more sense. Matrix clear. Completing Starfield repair. Starfield yeah, integrity restored. Keeping Initializing on repressurization. Air. Function unavailable. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Unable to engage anti gravity field. Air transport hmm. system incomplete. I might be able to make a Unable connection with this little hose, but which one? Hmm. I might be able to make that goes there. Other end goes Maybe? here? Maybe. Warning. Coolant detected in air supply. That doesn't <laughs> sound good. Okay, how about there to there? Okay, this one looks as good as any. Now what? Accessing maintenance panel 22. Well, now what? Is that something good happen? Uh, Hmm. They call it a maintenance panel. But I don't see anything to maintain on it. Uh. Mm. Let me put that. This one could be important. Accessing maintenance panel 36. Okay. But is that good or bad? I don't know. Let's save and maybe it'll come to us. Uh... Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Open up! Dang, not opening. Oh. Well, who wants to live for no, right? I'm really starting <laughs> to like you. People. I didn't mean. Oh. How? Oh. oh. That hurt. But it was worth it oh, for this pose. I think. Cutting is always Whoa, worth it. Uh, that's not a good message for the kids. Now we can connect. Two of these, I guess. Now that's a hoe. That's a hoe. Hopefully I can make some new connections. Weird smell coming out of this one. Okay. I hope that gas coming out isn't... Air familiar. transport system integrity Hi. restored. Oh, yeah. Beginning repressurization. Wait. That's Think good, so? right? Engaging anti-gravity field. Oh. Here, Here we, we go. go. Gyro stabilizers online. Is the room spinning? Or is it me? Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, there's the hatch. Aw, oh, I is missed that it. On? Yikes. What's that claw thing? Come on! I wonder if that little claw is getting as dizzy as I am. Wow, it really seems to like boots. I can't reach that boot. This can't get anywhere. 
It's the trigger to Alex's death ray. The only thing this trigger is good for is firing Alex's death ray. And when you find a pair of shoes that fit, it doesn't seem really? interested in me. Or my clothing. Think you could reach that arm if I held you out? I could stab it, but I can't grab it. Yeah, but it might grab you. Nah, it only grabs the boy in his stuff. Mom's arms are fine that way. Oh. His helmet. Here, little claw. Rats. Bad ah. timing. I know you want this helmet. Rats. Bad timing. Come on, Claw. That's Rats. pretty close. Bad timing. It's right here. Rats. Bad Come on. Stupid physics. Oh. It's kind of like bounced a little physics. further each time. All right, here we go. Grab it, Rats. Really? Bad timing. That's good. I know you want this helmet. Rats. Bad timing. Oh, oh, nice. Grab it. Rats. Bad timing. It's right here, Rats. That creepy giant robot hand feel I yeah. think that would just shatter. I know you there want we go. this helmet. You got me. Now let go of that helmet. Sweet. Alright. This weird little arm feels like it's made of. You got the boot too? Stupid giant claw! Get out of the way! Dang! Oh wow! Good timing. A lot of factors in play here. Whoops! Facing the wrong way. Rats! Need to get the timing right. Pretty good on that. Hang on! Can't see it now. That thing. This is awful. Dang. Bad timing. Whoops. Facing the wrong way. Can't. Come on. Oh, I thought I could get past this cutscene bit. No, it's just the one dialogue. Yes. Need to get the timing right. Hang on. I can't see it now. Wait, where is that thing? Alright, so I need to be facing pretty much at the top and have the thing close. Gotcha. Hmm. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to get you to let go of that boot. Am uh huh. Hmm. Wow. Yarn arm is definitely. Oh. I get crushed. Okay. Hey, I recognize that grip. I'll bet you were inside one of those tentacles that grabbed me on the uh -huh. beach. Oh yeah. Probably one of the ones I shot. Sorry right about that. Well, served you right. I mean, right. served you right. Probably not my size anyway. Maybe I can push off this thing. Woohoo! Space! I did it! Oh, come <laughs> on. I love that knife. That's better. The air was starting to get a little thin out there. Well, this looks familiar. I'm either in some sort of hallway, or else it's the creature's esophagus. Let's save so we never have to do that last part again. Guys. That means I brought Mob Chothra back to life. 
Are you another prisoner of Mog Chathra? Must be a maiden from some land of hexagons. Hexabells. Don't worry, little hexagal. hexagal. I'm gonna find all the other maidens and get us all out of here, okay? Hmm. That's a good point. Are they still alive? Are you another prisoner? Uh, hello? Looks like this <laughs> closet is asleep. Is that a train? Hmm. This door doesn't open. Man, this place is a mess. Mob Chakra may be alive again, but he doesn't look so hot. Looks like something horrible is in here. But what? Door won't open. Much junk in here. This must be the room where they melt stuff. Oh, must be locked or something. This place is falling apart. Ah, the belly of the beast. Our ship. Either way, monster or machine, I took it down before. Should be even easier from the inside. I'll see. Mess Locked. Ball. Wow, we're pretty high up. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely Emma. hear you. My name is Bella Tartine, and I'm here to take uh -huh. you down. D did you say Martine? Shay, is that you making a joke? Engineering department, just a routine maintenance visit. Engineering department? What are you talking about? Is that you, Shay? It's me, <laughs> Shay. Really? Is that really you, Shay? You sound so strange. I was injured. It's affecting my that's voice. Okay. Oh, that sounds terrible. If, if it's true, oh, I just don't know what to believe. It's me. Don't you recognize me? Well, not really, to tell you the truth. Okay, I'm not really Shay. What? Are you playing some kind of cruel joke on me? If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Maybe. Let's keep going. Now back in Shay's room. What's this? Some sort of living quarters? That looks uh, pretty heavy. I remember that. Gruesome. Wait. Is uh, that real? Got her too. Okay, that's definitely fa nice view. Uh, Both of them. So it's all. Well, I don't know what to think either. Just like mom. Huh? Someone pried open the see that wolf guy? I don't know why? Guess there's Are only we... one way to find out. Is that his name? Uh, Shay, <laughs> you. It's you. The last one. Last what now? Why did you call me the last one? You were the last creature. Final subject of our rescue oh. mission. She seemed especially interested in you on more rescue than one Rescue mission. Occasion. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense now, people. They're actually grabbing the ladies. Who are you? Are you in control of this monster ship? No. She is in control. The brains. I was just a stowaway sent to save the young boy. Hmm. Is the boy the one kidnapping Maiden? No. No. And yes. He made the selections but didn't know what mm -hmm. he was selecting. 
He thought he was rescuing helpless creatures because that's really what we were doing. Yeah. How were you rescuing that anyone? We were saving you <coughs> from the what? plague. What plague? Get me out of here and I'll explain. I don't know, Marik. Why did you have the boy select whom you were rescuing? Even our best technology is no match for the instincts of a boy like Shay, especially at his age. You're not really explaining so anything. You just mean like it's the one that Shay had a crush hard on. Hard for me to talk. Get this off of me, and I can Crazy. explain <laughs> everything. What were you saving the boy from? From her. The one they call Mom. She's been programmed to keep the boy safe, but she's taken it beyond sanity or reason. Now he is her prisoner. We all are. Who's her? I mean, who is she? She's the brains of this ship. You can find her in the room next to the galley. But be careful. She has eyes and hands everywhere. The boy is not a prisoner anymore. He escaped when I, uh, boarded. I see. Well, that shouldn't affect the mission. Which mission? To get control of this ship and end this madness. Why did you single me out? I assume he sensed your strength somehow, your spirit. I hope he was right. Yeah, that's what it was. Where are the other maidens you <laughs> rescued? They're safe, but locked up. Once we get control of the ship back from her, we can free them. Where is this ship headed? I assume back to its homeland, to deliver us to its masters. Can we stop this ship? Yes, but only if we can get into the central control room. She's locked the door with some sort of manual override. It can only be opened by her, from the inside. Can you open any of the locked doors on the ship? Well, my arms are pinned, but I think <laughs> I can push this one uh -oh. button. Oh, okay. That's the best I can nice. do. Thanks. I can work with that. Hey, <laughs> wait. Hey. Wait, you're a wolf. Sorry, I've had a really strange <laughs> day, and it's getting hard hey, you can't to run a knife strange and things right away. It's a long story. But I promise if you help me get out of here, I'll explain everything. I've got to go. Get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. Hmm. This door is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. Marik. Looks like a museum in here. After a tornado. Wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here. Probably grab some of his trophies and use them. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy. Thanks for the shoes. Ah, The red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. <laughs> Thanks. Shay. Sheesh. Demanding. <laughs> Safety Award. Aquatics category. Shay's first space boots. Age 5. I might be getting close up with this. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing <laughs> to me. Uh -oh. I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird yes, childhood. Hmm. Doesn't look like he's going to grow up to be a kidnapper. Cute. Jay Volta, Best Actor, Purple Boots, The Musical. 
Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? <laughs> My name's Vela. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. <laughs> it's Melanie. Huh. Melanie. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. No, I wouldn't, but there's nowhere else to go. That did sound creepy, though. I want to acknowledge that. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. <laughs> what? Oh, honey, we need to talk about your perfume. Am I going to be... Surprise! Head? I'm a teleporter. Now, you tell me a <laughs> secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, I got bigger. Oh, no, I thought I had that uh -oh. fixed. You made my head bigger. No worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. We probably don't want to fix our head. Just like with Shay, we want to, well, in this case, go the opposite way. Hello? You know, she hasn't said much since Aww. the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen, so she needs <laughs> special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine! Melody, Nadine, and... Hi. Who wants to go to the starboard passageway? <laughs> Put it like that. Here goes nothing. Bye bye. Ah, oh, there's my old head again. Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. Yes, this is all brains. All right, all right. Looks like something. Yeah, better put this back. This must be the. Still be big, so you want to go all the way through this again. All the way. I bet if our head is big enough, we can trick mom into thinking we are Shay because her voice will be deeper. That's my guess. Still there? <laughs> Don't have nose. Hey Mel. Hey Mel. Close your Is 
Hard to tell. Still out of I commission? <laughs> One more time. Going back. I guess we can, can we just go the same way? I don't know. Let's go back this way. Back to the maintenance tunnel. Honestly, her head doesn't like that big, but. The entire now looks pretty big there, I guess. All right, so now if we go back to Mel. No, uh, uh. What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. You and your head. Hmm. That's true. Gotta say please. Get through the other room now. Well, maybe it's just... maybe the head will work as it is with our voice. I didn't try talking to his mom, so let's try it. Hello, in there. Who's out there? It's me, Shay. <laughs> you sound well, kind of funny, right? It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? okay. Um... Sure. sure. Alright. First question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Oh, it was, um, Senor Mr. Big Missy. It was... Well, I don't recognize any of these. Mr. Something. Mr. Go on. Mr. Butt Butt. Main take kiss. Mr. Huggy. Yeah. Huggy. Is that yeah. your answer? Yes. Mr. Huggy. I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered Mr. Ah, Huggy. Sweet. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad yeah, about that. You are. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> yes, I see. On. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? favorite? Little Doughball Punky Pie. Probably Punky Pie. Is that an option? Please. Can we not do this? That's, that's oh, yeah. exactly what you used to say all the time. You hated my nicknames. Ah, great. I mean, Shay did. Now just one She's more question it. for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on okay. machine made boots saw the boots. Replicator. As he would surely remember, yeah. I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So. Please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Okay, we saw that. They were, I want to say, they were purple. Purple. And the size? Were they five or were those the older ones? I, oh, gosh. Uh, can I save here? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I thought they were five. But I think those were the older ones in that other picture. These are his first ones. I don't think they were three. Four or five. We just saved. Size five. four. And the pattern. Don't tell us. They were, they were polka dot, I think. Polka dot. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Shay, you had to nail every single part you. of that. Mom! <gasps> You're real? You're not a computer. You're not Shay. Oh. That is an hourglass figure right there. 
Yeah, I didn't think mom was real. What can I say? I know boo. She was just in there the whole time. <clears throat> Who are you? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Uh, yeah. Who are you? And why Better have you question. been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? I guess we'll accept that. Is that his dad? That looks like... That looks like the guy that we saw. Is that who we dealt with? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Or is that Curtis? Oh, what a twist. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told me about you. The wolf told me about you. <laughs> okay. Now She's just like, I had a bear with him years ago and he won't let it go. Need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're Damn a monster. Right. But... She's right, my uh, friend. There he <laughs> is. That's the wolf How'd he I get was up? talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped yeah. under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. What? What the <sighs> heck? Merrick, <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion Who is for that? You. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But how, how did your head you fit in that you? mask? You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Uh. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> oh. No. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the plague uh. dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. Wow, my mind is blown. Now, while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations Whoa. to come. <laughs> That's all you can do. Captain, shrug. up here! I'm a what? weapon! The hell? What is that? Is that my knife? Hey, Not look! Nice. A fork! I'd have a full set if I could just find the... Oh, I wouldn't bring up the <laughs> S-P-O-O-N if I were you. <gasps> Tiny here broke his heart, so he volunteered oh, for wow. a suicide mission. You shut That's... your mouth, Dutch. Hey, don't worry. This I won't tell you what you're for. <sighs> Yikes. These utensils have more going on than we do. Uh, looks like there's so much to push, but... Hey there. Oh, I guess I clicked her. Hope? Bella, Hope was it? Bella. So, I'm getting the feeling that you weren't behind all these kidnappings. What kidnappings? This ship. On the outside, it's built to look like a monster. <gasps> Every 14 years, a ship like yours comes to a village like mine, and we offer sacrificial maidens to it, so it won't destroy the town. It's pretty big. It can't be. And then the monster, your ship, takes some of the maidens away forever. This all sounds so crazy. But it sounds exactly like the kind of scheme the thrush would come up with. Yeah, Matthew, you could cut that tension with a talking knife. <laughs> it's not as good as your stuff. Sorry I lied about being your son. The wolf said, well... Is my head the right thought... size again? It's okay. Inexplicably. I don't blame you. Sounds like Marikai has been fooling all of us for a long time. Yeah, I knew I never trusted that wolf. How can we get out of here? 
I locked the door manually before, but now I imagine Marikai's locked it himself. Our only hope is if there are systems he's overlooked. I'm going to find a way out of here. Okay, I'm gonna try to think of a way too. Thank you. I try. Had years of uh, practice from the master. Marikai. Yes? You lied to me. You lied to me? She's not a computer. I never said she was a computer. She's not behind the kidnappings. You are. I never said she was behind oh, the kidnappings. Oh, that'd be a twist, Mano. You weren't trapped under that junk. I never... <laughs> well, okay, you got me on that one. I could be a little overdramatic about physical pain. Damn you, Marikai. Why did you shut me into this room? You just shot down our ship, and therefore had to be incapacitated. <laughs> You're a dangerous girl, Velo. Something tells me we don't even know yet how much. You are dangerous, aren't you? Where are you taking us? And why? To the Red Hangar. Processing. For processing. Processing? He's Isn't like, like, sure. Paperwork? Oh. That was pretty good. That was better than any dog dialogue right there. Are the girls you kidnapped really still on board? Or did you lie about that too? They're all on board and secured in a safe room, including you. Is there really a plague on this side of the dam? <laughs> yes, there is a plague, but not the Verona. The plague <gasps> is you and your kind. No offense. Our people are the noble result of thousands of years of rigorous and expensive genetic curation. We built the dam to keep out the genetic plague of the Badlands. Badlands? Again, <laughs> no offense. Offense taken, there, guy. If we're a plague, why did you kidnap so many of us? Although it pains me to admit it, you spawns of chaos have something that we lost along the way and have not been huh. able to simulate. Something unnameable and primitive. Maybe even brutish. But essential to our survival. I broke what is the it? Dam. <laughs> Maybe you don't understand what unnameable <laughs> means. Don't hurt to ask them. <laughs> oh man, as much as I hate him, I kind of love him. That boy, her son, what's his part in this? Shay was raised outside of the nurturing atmosphere of Laruna, so that he would be, some would say, weak enough. But I would add, sensitive enough. To select the subjects who huh. fill the holes, as it were, in our collective family tree. This just gets creepier yeah. and creepier. Not everyone has the stomach for perfection. Crazy. I gotta go. We want <laughs> out of this room. Trust me, it's safer with you in there. How are we safer in here? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant safer to <laughs> me. <laughs> I gotta go. Yes. Relax and enjoy. Yeah, that's a power move, Bella. Hell yeah. Not everyone has the stomach for perfection. I like it when Carmen speaks up and says, I broke the dam. Kind of chuckling in the middle of everyone else taking credit. Because he's the one that actually did it. Fantastic. What's this? Oh, that's just my central control sphere. I used it to keep a watch on the ship. Make little ah. changes here and there. Mind if I try it? Sure. But I'm sure Marikai shut down most of the remote features by now. Uh, uh, okay. Oh yeah, that's what she looked like. Hey, I can see the outside nice. of our door. Looks like the controls have been sabotaged. Really? Oh, if I could just get out there, I'll bet I could fix them. Well, yeah, but if we could get out there, we wouldn't need... Yeah, yeah, I know. But still. We can't open that door. This. Oh, I guess that sparking panel had its power shut off for a reason. Whoops. Yep, those controls are pretty fried. Ooh, sweet. I think I can lock and unlock doors. Yeah, but something tell. Hey, I can see other rooms. Yeah, but probably only the ones Marikai doesn't care about. That's gonna be his downfall. Interesting. 
Hey, cheer up. That's better. We'll just be like a time-based puzzle. Alright, so that's unlocked. Peekaboo! Unlocked. That's unlocked. Ooh, smart. <laughs> Loving it. Let's see what's going on in here. All, all the mission rooms. Unlocked. <laughs> but we like to create overflow of power called a short or something. Turn that frown upside down. That's my gal. Happy. Turn that frown upside down. Anyone got a flashlight? Yeah. Can we pick uh, cereals? Can we go through those? That was fun. I'm trying to remember the cereal that we ended on. Nothing in here except a hexagon. Gal, gal, whatever. Nope. Unlocked. Wait, she's on it. Hey, I think we need a safety light that over was here. Stuff. That's the spirit. Little hexapal going around, fixing everything. Uh. Empty. Wow, those arms are strong. That's it, but... Yes, pick that up. Thank you. And now, wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess it was. Hey, cheer up. Everything's going oh. to be. <laughs> Sorry. Killed one. Okay. Get the rest of them happy. Alright. If we go up, that'll take us back where we were. You see where it took the, uh. inflatable? Okay. Well, I guess. <laughs> there she goes. This way. Over here. Uh-oh. Made it pretty dark over there. Hey, why can't I unlock this thing? Must be a different system or something. What a rip. Where'd the robot go? Where'd you go, Hexpel? Now you're over here, okay. Ooh, smart. We get a little hex pal over here. Someone should really fix that. Let's try this. Hey, I think we need a safety light okay. over here. Look at her go. Fixing problems just as quickly as... Well, as I caused them. Uh, so... Turn that off and turn that off. Hey, you got a flashlight? Alright, are you fixing that? Over here. Need your help over here, little robot. Hey, I think we need a safety light over here. Little 
little farther. Spark. Let's move this. Good girl. Come we need your help on. over here. This way. Hey, I think we need a safety light over here. Worth a shot. Over here. Got a flashlight? That's a good girl. <laughs> hey, I think we need a safety light over here. Over here. That wasn't right. Yeah. Or was it a light? Over here. Be over uh -oh. here first. Made it pretty dark over there. Damn you, a robot. I understand you. Someone should really fix that. Uh oh. Made it pretty dark over there. Okay, she's on it. Okay, there we this go. This way. Uh oh, made it pretty dark over there. Good girl. Okay. A little farther. Now we're moving. <laughs> Rambles into the next area. Doing a good job. Got some bad wiring there. Okay, that should take a little while for her to fix. Hands. All right, we're moving right to left. Just a little That's bit more. Uh, can I get you to go? Oh, can I get this one here? Oops. Come fix this stuff over here, little robot. Someone should really fix that. Did you see that? <laughs> Worth a shot. Mm. Ooh, Sparky. Wait, she's on it. That opened for a split second. And then... Let's try this. How does this thing work? That's a good girl. Worth a shot. <laughs> Don't fix that too quickly now. Oops. How does this thing work? That's bad wiring there. This way. Okay, our little friend's going up there. She'll have that fixed in no time. Get you to... Come on. Here you go, little robot. Great, she's on it. Slow Just but steady. I don't know what we're doing more. here, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> Love watching go from one room to the next. Yes, we made it. Home stretch. All right. Yep, those controls are pretty fun. See if we can get the robot to get us out of here. Oh no! No, 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 robot! Little girl, I'm so sorry. 
stuck, fella. Dang it. Uh. Oh, hey. Huh? There you are. I'm so happy to see you. You hang in there, girl. <laughs> Doesn't look too concerned. Let's see. Careful this time. I hope that hole is blocked up enough now. <laughs> Good girl. Yep. Those controls are. Yes. Pink. Yep. Those controls Finally. are pretty from. That's right. Better get on that. That's my girl. Thanks, friend. Hexagal. You saved us. Check it out, Hope. You did it. We're free. Attention, approaching red hangar. Prepare for sterilization. Oh no. That's not good. Was the one that I wanted for us. Uh, what is this place? This is where they build and store ships like ours. The Mog Factory? I'm afraid so. No. This is great! Instead of killing one mob, we can destroy all the mobs forever! Oh, and all the people yeah. in the factory, too. Think about that. Darn. There are no people in the factory. It's all automated, but I really... Great! Now we just have to figure out how to use that death ray. <laughs> death ray? Yeah, you're right. A death ray isn't going to cut it this time. <laughs> We're gonna need something bigger. A like bomb. a bomb! The only thing I've ever blown up was my family's oven. But with all the high-tech stuff on this ship, there must be something we can make a massive explosion with, right? <laughs> Maybe, but I... So, I'll Hope make a not. bomb. Figure out a way to dump it in the factory, and also a way for you and me to get the heck out of here and back to our families. Sound good? Not really. But if there's a chance it will get me back to my family, then it's the only option I've got. Not exactly a battle cry, but I'll take it. I right, still have our talking utensils. That's good. We now have access to the rest of the ship. We have shame. Anything else we need to do here before we... Or is it all pretty straightforward? <laughs> Always brightens my day. Just happy to do their, their job. Taco Pill Tuesday. When we were changing that, Look on the bright side. Good morning. Have a great day, Shay. I love you, Shay. Rule of Heroes Dinner Taco Bell Tuesday. That's the spirit. I don't know. Does it matter? Whatever. Still have the... Alright, that, that... That let out some, uh... Cereal coming out now. That's enough. That's enough. 
Can we get it? Great day, Shay. It's just those two that have the hand. Oops. Did we short circuit something? I never thought Mugchasa would be so <laughs> I know. full of smiles. A smile makes everything seem uh, better, whatever. don't you think? Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Score the Wait, should I have written that down? Build a bomb, get it off the ship, and yeah. drive the ship out of here. No, I got Careful. it. Probably save in case we run into someone we don't want to run into. Oh, save it. Alright, whatever. Oops. Right. It's the last girl. The one that downed our vessel. What about her? She's significant to him somehow he was willing to risk everything for her mm. twice do you think he found a specimen that could troll the formation yes i don't even think we need the other specimens render them all just to be safe and incinerate the waste of material after you repair the ship marakai I'd rather the council not find out about how you almost managed to lose a collector in the Badlands. Yes, sir. About the mother. You know the rules, Marakai. She came into contact with an unpurified primitive. Who knows how many diseases she's carrying? Yes, Thrushmaster. I'll initiate repairs and prepare the incinerator. Hurry, Marakai. There is a quiver in my blood. I think those are the bad guys. So what happens if he sees me? Looks like some sort of video game. Looks like some sort of video game. Looks like some sort of Cherry video line, game. Right? Okay. I'm not going any closer to that weirdo. That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Back when he was fake trapped. I can't get to it while he's over there. The talking knife always has an idea. I don't want to cut that. Only because you haven't tried. <laughs> Thank you for that logic. Talking knife. Oh, quit with the sad stuff, Magchatra. You brought this on yourself. Looks like the windows have been sealed with some sort of force field. I think Hope could be helping me here. The inflatable. There you are. And so nice and clean, too. Man, I really put some sweet Sweel. holes in this thing. Morning. It's later than you think. Can I get some cereal or something? I think I found your bedroom, yep. Dutch. Where the magic happens. Between you and the spoon here? No. That guy, me and him had a big beef over a dame. Who won? Don't see him around oh. anymore, do you? I think I found your bedroom. Okay. Here. Oh, could I interact with the little hexapal? Thanks for busting us out of there, girl. What are you doing now? Warning people it's about that job. dangerous window? Good idea. We learned our lesson there, didn't we? Tony, can't believe it. Oh no. They're calm. They go back and forth between calm and surprised and freaked. Hmm. Alright. Everything in here? What's in here? Alright, the Weaver. Hi there. 
Ah! Humiliation. Uh. Humiliation. All right. Excuse me? Initializing. Hello, and thank you for considering the Space Weaver 6X for purchase. I have been programmed to be the most personable and accurate navigation system on the market. Just bring me a star chart, and I shall weave my yarns into a... My yarns into a... Where are my yarns? What happened to my top spindle? Demo terminated. Service requested. <laughs> Probably so something we need to do later when I'm trying to escape. Yeah, yeah there's much to do right now. Hmm. I get the feeling something is supposed to go in this area here, but it's missing. Yeah. Hmm. I get the feeling something is supposed to go in. Yeah, we always had to hack the space weaver. Looks like there's a bunch of debris in there. I, I can't to get, get back through. To Marek. Made. Right. We got teleporters to the left. There's ice cream mountain. Ice cream did not <laughs> see that coming. Yeah, there's a fun little. Hey, do these whipped cream guns come off? Not since somebody used one to blast themselves into an Shit. unauthorized area. One guy takes it too far, and we all get punished. Not You wouldn't fair. know it, though, with their little smiles. Just hey, grab it. Do these whipped cream guns come off? Not since somebody used one to blast themselves into an unauthorized Hey, you guys look like you got caught in some sort of ice cream avalanche. No. Guy that helped me with the, the Alex guy. Oh, I see. Mind if I have a look around? Knock yourself out. Just don't throw us out until things settle down, okay? Is mountain edible? Is this stuff for real? Climb it. Whoa. It's <laughs> a good look. Okay, it's like the now I'm cold. Don't forget about sticky! It's like the clap. Oh, the ground is cookies. There's an ice cream sandwich. Man, it's like the uh, the clouds familiar. Do our shoes still work? I'm keeping these to myself. It's hard to find shoes that fit That's just awesome. right. There we if go. nothing else, they'll keep my feet warm. I think this will work, right? Is this right, stuff for real? Going this way. We won't sink with these shoes. If my friends in Mariloft <laughs> could see me now. You sure that stuff is cold enough to freeze you? Oh yeah. It's made of some really advanced chemical compounds. What we're doing is probably much safer than eating it. You Wait. sure that stuff is cold what am enough? What doing up here? I'd eat some, but it smells like some sort yeah. of refrigerated nutritional paste. Plus food coloring. I can't carry it in my hands. Bowl? Ooh. Put your ice cream in a bowl. Why, yes. I will have some. <laughs> Thank you. Delicious. Sure you guys don't want to come down? You sure that stuff is cold enough to freeze you? Oh, yeah. It's made of some really advanced chemical compounds. What we're doing is probably much safer than eating it. Alright, whatever. Got my ice cream. It's oh, choking. Oh man, that whipped cream sludge ate my cloud shoes. Sorry, uh, Carl. Earl. Son of a... You know somewhere he's going. Excellent. Alright. Can I still like... I don't know if I want to do that or not. It's in here. Whoa. Yikes. Well, that room is Take me out. Okay. gone. So much for that. There she goes, dumping the trash off the ship. I guess. If only I were a little faster. Huh. Oh, 
open. That trash. They always there when we. No. Alright. Whatever. This is the train room? Oh, yeah. Hi. Is there a problem here? Thanks, oh, pal. Yes. This train is about to go out of control, and our young hero is uh -oh. nowhere in sight. I blame myself. They only went out of control because he was in charge. If this train is about to go out of control, shouldn't everybody Wait, get off it? No, it won't go out of control until the moment the young hero arrives. I'm young, I'm kind of a hero. Can I ride the train? Didn't I just tell you it's a runaway? <laughs> also, no. We can't do anything without the young hero. I need a disguise or something. As if... You know, beginning my head... Beginning? Beginning my head and talking deeper. It's just not enough. If the train isn't a runaway until your hero arrives, and your hero is missing, then what's the problem? If the young hero Ooh, never arrives, getting then philosophical. we have no purpose. Oh, take exist? heart. Do we even exist? You see, it's unsafe <laughs> from a philosophical point of view. Who is Shit. the young hero? The Train stoppers! The young master of real disaster! Prevention! His name is Shay, and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Mm. Well, stay safe. Find the young hero. Only he can keep us safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's such sobbing miserably. Airlock ahead, you say. Uh, that's where we came in. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any way back up there. But you know, that's okay. I like having my feet on the ground. x are the best. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Sure. Let's see if this works. Hey, my head's normal. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. But at least I didn't make it any bigger this time. Oh, there was a dead moth on one of my lasers. It was messing the whole deal up. Yikes. Yeah. It would have been worse. You could have ended up half girl, half mom. Roger Wilco and Jeff Goldblum know all about that. Oh, the stories I can tell, honey. Can I use this one yet? Hello? Hey there. I knew you were faking it. Hey. I go to a more sensitive location than you two, so naturally I'm uh, more sensitive to power surgeons. Get that checked uh -huh. out. What's your name? Let's see if this works. Miss you already. You are more sensitive. Caution. Entering an uh -oh. area of strong. Trying to warn me about falling ship parts. Huh. huh. I wonder what that funny light show is for. Ooh. What was this? Man, that's pretty. Wonder what it is. Oh, that's the fusion orb. It powers the ship's defenses. Is it dangerous? Not as long as it's on ice. Interesting. And if it heats up? Omicron fission event. Ooh, uh, that sounds like an explosion. Big one. Hey, <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I just like to keep track of where all the explosives are. So we can put this in our helmet, I would think, to keep it cold. Hey, I wonder if this cold bowl would keep that thing from overheating. 
wonder enough to potentially explode yeah, the entire ship that over looks it. That great. Attention, do not remove fusion orb from refrigerated pedestal. Omicron fission event will occur. Not until my super advanced ice cream melts, it won't. And when the ice cream finally melts, something tells me we'll have a nice little explosion on our hands. Speaking of, I should probably get okay. this thing off the ship. All right. Well, the airlock is busted, isn't it? That kind of tickled. Hey there. Oh, you want to yes, the Nexus. Thank you. It's so nice to de-rest new people. Joe! I like that middle transporter's attitude. Alright. So let's see. So the way I came in is not accessible to me. Is there anything I can do up here? If I try this? Is this the brain? It oh, looks important, fake. but also super fake. What was down Must here? Be All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not gonna work. <sighs> Maybe at the garbage chute? That might be the only way to get off of this ship, or get anything off of this ship. And where the heck was that? That just leads to his area. Maybe Hope had some ideas. Hey Hope, how you been doing? Any ideas yet? No, sorry. Damn it, Hope. You were supposed to mention fine, that earlier. He jumped off the ship when I got on. He's probably relaxing on the beach, enjoying the sun. Well, that's something at least. And my husband. I didn't see anyone else. Who was you? But that's like Elizabeth together. Banks vibe to me. So. I just wish I could fly back and get them. Well, let's just make sure that's part of our escape plan. You've met that wolf before? Marakai? Yes. He's the security officer for the Laruna <laughs> Elder Council. And a high-ranking member of the Thrush. Now, do we need to know all this stuff? What's Operation Dandelion? I thought it was my family and me searching the galaxy for a new home. But apparently that was only phase one. Phase two seems to be something more sinister. What's the Thrush? The dominant political party of Laruna. They think of themselves as more than that, though. To them, they are a special, privileged race of people, obliged to lead the rest of us. Listen, we have to stick together. Let's put the past behind us and team up to stop this horrible business. You want to team up with the captain of the ship that's been terrorizing your homeland? Yes, if you're willing to team it's up with the girl you just met. Who already well. lied to me once. Well, yes. <laughs> On accident. Aww, Deal. That's nice. Can't stop us now. Yeah. Can I ask, why did you choose to go on this crazy mission? It wasn't an easy choice. But they said Laruna was dying and volunteers were needed. Thousands applied, but we were chosen. We felt special. And they filled us up with all this nonsense about it being a noble sacrifice. Yeah, that kind of thing can be pretty convincing. Want to hear how the plan is coming along? Okay. I made a bomb. But I still need to find a way to get it off the ship. And I still hadn't figured out a way to drive the ship out of here. <laughs> so you tell they like update there, that with your progress. As long as you have a plan. Oh gosh. That's what I'm saying. He's got the uh got the hourglass right there. The terrifying hourglass. Hourglass with a twist. Keeping us safe, little hex of pal. That's the cereal. So we can like pause the cereal. I guess we want that down. Stop right there. To what end? I don't know. 
job. I know that little guy came out to clean when we spilled some cereal. Maybe we can grab some cereal. I don't know why she like walks out as if she wasn't just attached to that machine. So maybe we can get some cereal now? Oh, whoops. I left that hanging out. Go back in, yarn arm. Oh, sorry. I was going to clean that up. I promise. Okay. So maybe we... Hey, it's that little gal riding the vacuum cleaner. Maybe we can, like... There they go. I double the like everywhere. There. Just follow it. It's one of these... Hi. Who wants to go to the store? Let's see if this works. It's gonna drop me, like, right... There you go. Hey, hold that up. Ooh! We almost got her. Not quite. That would be a great way to get it off the ship, I think. Exactly. Okay. So. <laughs> Touche, motto. Alright, so. So that's still in the way. We want to leave that there, because that slowed it down. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Yeah, apparently the Hexapals Fingers are the ones that help and the Hexagals are the Show. ones that fix stuff. So you have maintenance and you have the custodians. And the ones that <laughs> operate the train operator. Alright, let's try that one more time. More cereal, please. All right. There she goes. Watch him. Go. So let's see. Hurry up. Lots on the chart. Hi. Close your eyes and don't. She drops us right outside. Ooh, here she comes. Warning. Objects placed into this... Hey, hold that open for there me. There we go. Gotcha. Ow. Hey! Nothing but dirty floor cereal for my troubles. Well, we got some you cereal should after all. Oh, okay, so that was a hexagon. I don't know. It was the name. Let's drop this outside. Well, I was really looking forward to eating this ice cream. Don't oh, lie. You said like you weren't earlier. It's not going to happen now. Bombs away! Holy smokes! <laughs> I just dropped a bomb! I'd better get us out of here before that ice cream melts. Oh. Oh, now, we, now we're tied, but we better save in that case. Save five. I should have had a plan to get off the ship or get us out of here before I did that. Oh well. Let's see if the mom has any ideas. Good job keeping people yeah, away from the everything's team. about to explode. How's the hexagal gonna help with that? Any ideas yet? No. Damn it. Sorry. Damn it, Hope. Want to hear how the plan is coming along? Okay. I made a bomb. And... I found a way to get it off the ship. But... but I still haven't figured out a way to drive the ship out of here. So, we're super close. As long as you have a plan. Don't really at this point. I don't know what to do. Anything else we can use this for? cereal anymore. Maybe we want to keep the Taco Tuesday pill down. 
empty, and I don't want to shake its hand. Okay, well we do have cereal now, what else we got? We've got inflatable shea, a couple utensils, and the laser. I'm gonna get us out of here though. Let's back to the weaver. Need something to give to the weaver. Space weaver, can you take us out of here? The Space Weaver 6X can take any need to make something into a, into a star chart. Error. You're not functioning. Okay. What else have we got? We have Ice Cream Mountain. We got the ice cream. We had those little... Those little guns. What were they? They were... I guess we could like click on these. Hey, do these whipped cream guns come off? Not yeah, since yeah, somebody yeah, used yeah. a bunch of plastic. Is there anything we... This cereal smells <laughs> nutritious. In the yeah, worst stop trying to act like you wanted to eat that. I don't think cereal Never would know. help there. I don't think Never cereal know. would help you there. Fill this up with like... I wonder if this would <laughs> yes. to make my blow-up boy more lifelike. Well, maybe lifelike is too <laughs> strong a word, but definitely less flat, and oh, the whipped cream doesn't leak out as fast as air. It actually patches leaks. Mr. Volta stumbled on the formula while developing his hot patch. You know, you can repair a flat tire <laughs> with that stuff. Good to know. So now we can pass this off as Shay to the train people. To what end, I don't know. But let's try it. It's coming together. And yes, we can switch back to Shay at some point. One of these lost all our options. Look, Shay wants to ride. Your hero's here. Look who's here. <laughs> it's our young hero. He has returned. Yay! I mean... <laughs> We're all going to die! Let's get acting. I will, Nana. Oh, she looks... Like... Okay, so what does the young hero usually do in this situation? We never know! No one can predict the action of the young hero! Great. Do anything. Trust us. <laughs> we should celebrate. Let's do the work. Heck yeah. Oh. That was time. Where we need to do the wave right there. Thanks for keeping it safe. <laughs> Anyone super sad again? Did someone say <laughs> runaway train? Yay! She We're still nails that voice. What's the way? Ah, did they mix up the placements of those? Darn it. And no one explained to me what the way was. Yeah, let's do the way. Here we go. I guess we'll grab a branch or something. I don't know. Yay! Uh oh. I wanted to do this myself! Oh, yarn! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that is... Well, fantastic. that does it. We're definitely getting I know, out for this time. I know, safety board in place. Sorry. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> At least you guys can work on another mission. I'm a train conductor. I only do trains. I'm a hexapalace, tell you. 
Shay just exploded. <laughs> Bad for life. Oh, that is fantastic. Alright. Now we got us some yarn. some yarn. Hey, do you need some yarn? Yarn? Did yes. someone ask if I need yarn? Why, yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> what is that type of mess? It looks Still like smiling. That's like creepy. a giant cat. The space reader prefers well-wound spools of yarn. I do. He served upon a fresh spindle to replace his own. <laughs> service on this ship has really gone down System for Forky, can you untangle this for us? Hey, think you could twirl this mess of yarn up for me? It's what I was born to do. Like spaghetti. Bon appetit! Much better. Alright. Happy now? No. Fork? My name, it's Lorraine. Fork. Lorraine? I need you to do something really important for me. I've been waiting to hear those magic words oh. all my life. Space Weaver. Hello, and thank you for considering. <laughs> yes! Whoa! Oh, that's the stuff. So, can we go somewhere now? Absolutely. Somebody hand me a star chart, quick. My needles itch. Space Weaver, can you take us out of here? Bring me a star chart. Uh, star and chart. The of time and space well, that was Marie's job. That might be a problem. Can we go this way yet? Looks like there's hmm. a bunch of debris in there. I can't get through. Alright, let's head back. All the way to the left. Keeping a real good job. I guess there's still another way off the ship, so I shouldn't talk to Hope yet. My bad. Keep doing what you're doing, which is nothing. Alright, down the hatch. Let's see if anything's different now that we have. Looks like some sort of video game. These big surveillance screens don't seem to be working. Looks like uh, some kind of chart. Need. Can't get any closer while cadaver faces around them. For. These big surveillance screens. He'll see me. That's the switch he used to unlock mm. that door over there. You sure Back you can't just have trapped. Him? I can't get. I don't want to cut that. I don't think cereal would help. Blast him. The only thing this trigger is good for is. Okay. Well. Any ideas? You can create a diversion somehow. You get like one of the hexapals to get in there. So the middle one is. So that just takes us to the trash. That's the. Uh, that's where we. Got the power I source. Know. Back to the junk room. Oh, the, yeah, the trophy. Close your eyes and don't look yeah. down. Please count fingers and toes before leaving teleporter. Well, what's in here? <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do there, Mono. I'm not going through that. Wolf creep will see me. Oh, right. There's a, well, that's that's where we want to go, though. I'm not Just going sneak in there that. and grab the Wolf creep chart. will see me. Hmm. This door is locked. This I wonder the what they keep in here. Open. Hexapal. Gal. Hey, this window is clear now. I wonder... Ah! Hey, oh, that's where they keep them. It's Bella. My name is Bella. 
Oh, yes, she's from my town. The one that sprayed me with water? What's she doing out there? More importantly, can she get us some food? <laughs> Are the other maidens in there? Oh, yeah, Drusilla's here and your other <gasps> sugar bunting friends. Hey, <laughs> and some lovely girls from Mariloft with the most amazing awesome. feather work. It is nice. Mag Chakra, the Maiden's Feast, it was all a big scam. Oh, you must be one of the Maidens <laughs> from Obvious Town. Why didn't you warn us? She did, now that I think about it. We just yes. weren't listening. I'm going to get you out of there. How? This monster's made of metal. I'm working it's on creepy it. creepy that Marie keeps them next to his bedroom. Like, what's he doing with them? What happened yeah, to I don't you after know. you were taken? That gross tentacle dropped us into some sort of tube, and it just dumped us here. Vela, this monster is some sort of robot. It's a spaceship, or at least it pretends to be. What? Long story. Tell you after. Hmm. Hey, I've got some cereal here. Do <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Drop it in front of the door. I'll grab it with my hook. Hurry, it was on please. the floor. Here's some cereal. Oh, thank you, Vela. Let me do it. <laughs> my hook. Leave it to me. Hi. There we go. Hey, what the heck? Oh my god, look at the size of that rat. <laughs> what? Finally Wait, got a hook. I can't see it. It panicked when you hooked it and ran off. But it was as big as a cat. I told you there were rats out there. Now what are we going to eat? Here, I found some more cereal. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. Nice. Oh. 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 If you close your eyes, you can almost pretend it's rat. Shh, I'm having a hard enough time pretending this <laughs> stuff is cereal. Oh. It's just them. Anything else? I'm gonna find a way to get you out of this. Going here. We're on a roll. It's just look like intense. Hmm. We like hook the wires Maybe or something. I can unlock the door. Uh oh. Uh oh. I better get out of here. What's going on in here? We hmm. sneak past him. Ugh. Looks like this door received some damage in the crash. Some exposed wires here probably set off that alarm. Better do some quick repairs. Not too quick, I hope. That was All right. close. Hurry. Hurry, Bella. No time for pleasantries. Hey, Mel. Close your eyes and don't look down. Miss you already. I think this is the fastest way. Okay. All right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get the chart. Not my best wiring job, but it looks like it'll hold for a little while. At least Damn until it. I can get the real repairs done. Now, where was I? Choking my... <sighs> Son of a... You were so close. That's awful. So we just do that again, I guess, but... Man, I hope there's not something I'm missing. I gotta try the hook this time, and that'll really mangle it. Hi, Mel. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Thank you for traveling with us. It'd be really nice if we just kind of hide behind uh, Tal or something. Alright, there's not much to hide behind. Kind of reminds me of uh, those two fellas' quarters in uh, Space Quest 6. A little bit. Ah, oh, I didn't need to your ears, girl. Hey, hey Mel. 
fingers crossed. Miss you already. Could not be doing this any faster. This part. Kind of a slog. Might even do a quick little. Can't save here. That's annoying. Is this? Is that his room? It's oh, not. nice. Heck yeah. It's a chart with stars on it. <laughs> that does it. I'm breaking that <laughs> lock. Alright. Heck yeah, it's right. Let's get this to the weaver. Get the H out of here. H -E double L. Out of here. <sighs> save right quick. Starting to pick up the saves now. Alright, we got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got your chart. Inverting star chart. Weaving star. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp, warp and drive. warp drive. Intake calibers like, yeah. in position. Weave thrusters oh, at gotta be Spin the rotational gets... velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. What if I need to mess with four, the chart again? Three. Two. We had two one. before. Nav scarf deployed. Drive <laughs> red engaged. Nothing happened. Affirmative. We were already located at the destination indicated by the yep. star chart. Obviously driven. I hope that I passed. Yep, we got... Getting a little <laughs> sick of this place to tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, we gotta tweak it. This uh, now we have to like start it first. Reminds me of someone. Weaving now scarf. Preparing down here. Initializing warp and wolf drive. It's like a giant star. Somehow it tells I think I need to be with a little more Hey, I got finesse. I can cut real thin lines. Deploying. No cutting needed here. Sorry. Three. I don't think I have time now. Alright, do your thing. What? I need to pull this up anyway. Nothing happened. Dark. Dark. Ah, I still have a history. Destination indicated by the star chart. Not the most efficient uh, navigation system, you don't say. <laughs> well, thank you for verifying there, Mana. Yeah, the Initializing the hook and wolf drive. Intake. All right. So, I think, which is, is this the first one or the second one? All right, so it looks like we just have to make a couple small changes. I don't think that anyone that. would mind. I think that's how we have to do. I don't know why, but I feel really, really good about this. Glad you feel good about it. Deploying you know. in five. Four, three, two, one. Now, oh. deploy. Drive thread engaged. Drive thread. Pause. <laughs> what do you mean, what? pause? Pause. Yes, it is strange. The nav system is ready, but the engines are being blocked. Blocked? By what? By the young master's oh. mother. What? What? <laughs> oh, Don't worry about it. Uh, long story. We've got time. Not going anywhere. We'll see about well, that. Go with your instincts. Mm, but we shook hands. 
I don't understand. If only you were, uh, in charge of things around here. Hexagal? Hey, what's the deal? I finally find us a way out of here and Yarnbot says that you... Shh, shh, what? Look! What is it? Marikai is inspecting the ship's nav system for damage. Any navigation activity right now would immediately uh, catch his attention. But I think after the nav check, he's going to step outside the ship to scan the exterior. At which point we are free to take off and he'll be helpless to stop it. You're smart. I'm yeah. glad we're partners. This is a sweet picture. Yeah, it helps me remember. He wasn't always a teenager. Aw. That's cute. Yeah, that does look like that guy that helped us a little bit. It might just be Shay growing up, I don't know. Well, Hexen Pal in the background. Buttons, I don't know. There you go. Fun! Any ideas yet? No. Wait. Sorry. Want to hear how the plan is coming along? Okay. <laughs> I need a bomb. <laughs> Want to hear the plan? And... <laughs> the plan's coming. I need a bomb. Found a way to get it off the ship. And... and... I've convinced the Space Weaver to take us out of here. So, as soon as Marikai leaves the ship, we're ready to go. Okay. I'll keep an eye on Marikai from here. Any like... ideas yet? No. Sorry. Are we going back to Shay now? What's going on? Okay. I'm going back to work on the plan. Okay. I'll keep an eye on Marikai from here. Not much else I could do. Should I go down and, like, check on Marikai? Weird. I thought it was just gonna be like a, a minute. Can't use that thing anymore, that's good to know. Looks like the windows have been sealed with some sort of force field. <sighs> Let's go to Shay, everybody. What's up, Shay? Uh, son? Son, what? are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Shay! Uh... Shay, Elijah. snap out of it. Who, uh? Who? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Splark. <laughs> Splark. Splark. Just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. <gasps> that girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Dad! How did you shrink your head? <laughs> what are you? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... mom? Huh. I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or... Well, what I thought was a ship, in that what I thought was space. It. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Yeah, I'll I don't think we totally buy that. Real seagulls, not <laughs> made of yarn. Can we have more to say to each other? So, you're really... Yes, I'm really <laughs> trying to get back in here. I know it's on fire, but your mother's still inside. Okay. 
Is that really our ship? I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of yeah, them. Yeah, I'm still come to terms with it myself, Shay. Crazy. So, if we weren't actually in space, where were we? Hexapal! You okay? Hey, it's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Aww. Poor guy. Did you pick up his corpse? Ew. Hexapal corpse. It's kind of with those explodies. Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. All right. Curious. <laughs> if I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <laughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? Flattered, <laughs> Pop. I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. <laughs> I love that uh, the girls are still chill. My schematic. <laughs> this guy really seems to like schematics. Oh, what's that smell? There's that chum pile. Like, see. What's going on with those? What is that? Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Wow, what the heck? I guess that's a volcano. They look so different in the ship's cosmopedia. Oh, is that guy still gonna be here? That would be trippy. I was calling him a Shay from the future. What the... That outfit. Operation Dandelion. What? Are you... Are you... I knew it! Me? From the future? Are you Space me time from continuum. the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Oh. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever huh. being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassa Nostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean the... Huh. Nothing. Yep. So, why Brothers? are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. <laughs> well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. Let me help. Yeah. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um, shot yeah. it down. <laughs> Why? Well, I might have actually yeah. shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. Wow. It's all so connected. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination, as long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all huh. about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. 
Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the I'm music sick thing. Of the knitting thing. Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Mm. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows, I might have some other family there. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. <laughs> did you have a strange wolf on your ship? Like they told on you to hack ship. the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Mm. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... <laughs> I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Well, what? he called himself Merrick. Huh? <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, no, no. I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue. Or capture. Oh, Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever. Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it uh, c came to life uh. and flew away. Probably to Laruna yeah. on autopilot. Oh, no. Is that... You know, Alex? Is that <gasps> me from the past? <laughs> no, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. This ship Everybody crashed here, too. To and now he wants to go back future. to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. So nice, Alex. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes <laughs> down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. Cool. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation yeah. suit. Hmm, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yeah. yet. And, gotta replace my heavy duty anti gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. Oh, that's all. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect <laughs> the guards outside. Something about their outfits. Two kids on shoulders. There aren't any guards out there. Walked <laughs> off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material <laughs> as my radiation <laughs> shield and blast curtains. Oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's control. Mm. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can uh, find one lying around. Okay. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize oh circuit God. boards at a glance. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. Okay. He's like, you're not gonna find any of that stuff. Hey, you got this old timey laser coil and amplifying quartz all hooked <laughs> up. Like, no, no, no. Want me to? No, no, don't touch them. 
They've come close to overheating several times and they're extremely unstable. I'll, I'll get around to fixing that soon. Just leave it to me. All right, all right. Well, we got our work cut out for us. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream. I need all the answers right now. That's how I feel right now. Oh, ship! It's really <laughs> gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? <laughs> Oops. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans That's hasn't true. really worked out well for me. No, it was awful. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? Damn right. A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated oh. with me. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes yeah, are the best. Yeah, you appreciate that one. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, <laughs> please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. You learn a lot about Bella. Can make like a train split. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collected in a bucket. Yeah. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. Yeah, that we'll get some later. <laughs> Do all trees talk nice in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. But ironically, if no one had cut you, you wouldn't be able to talk. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world? No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole yeah, tree Shay. thing, man. You sound who pretty dumb. Like that? I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the <laughs> sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. <laughs> okay. I think. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree like, nah, and funny. split. It's supposed to be a banana. But don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. It's got a leaf. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can <laughs> hear you. That's an interesting go. smell. So unfamiliar. Uh, okay. Whoa. Good thing we like snakes. What the? Oh, wow. This is <laughs> incredible. Snakes. A real giant spectre. Snakes like, yeah. My mother never would have allowed <laughs> this. That must have been uh, danger. I was snowing. <laughs> Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? <clears throat> wow. You really aren't kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it. The snake is going to pass out before I do. So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Uh, well, this has been fun, but... <clears throat> I, I had better be going soon. Okay. One time's over, my scaly friend. Hi. I. Oh, I hope you're not bending my friend. Like what? Hmm. I remember reading on the ship's Cosmopedia <laughs> that snakes hate loud noises. <sighs> I don't want to have to resort Mr. to sonic Huggy. violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to there let you go. go now. <laughs> uh, seriously. You better let go. I'm not getting around. Mr. 
Froggy, I think it won't be much longer now. Poor <sighs> death. <sighs> I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Oh, we poured it out. <laughs> Tired it out. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone Aww, might step on him. Snake in our pants. Wait. I'll bet that would wake up Mr. Huggy. But then he'd just go back into his tree. And I feel like our relationship needs to move forward to survive. In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome. Curtis. <laughs> Sounds like someone's really <laughs> afraid of hugs. Alright, speaking of Curtis. Curtis. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Hello? Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit <laughs> like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom did it for me. Space. Space. Uh-huh. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style true. next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi. My name's Shay. Curtis. Think you oh, could yeah. make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm into that kind of thing. Potentially. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder <laughs> on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm. Not sure, but I've got a hunch that More Bella has something Bella to do character. With it. Is Bella a friend of yours? Well, a she's come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. <laughs> he doesn't think anything of that. What are you making there? Art, forged Hell from yeah, metal. Yes. I used to work with wood, but you know, it was getting all trendy. And the tree started talking, <laughs> and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. Into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever, but my kid just arrived today, so I've been like hardcore for about six hours. Well, it's less uh, than stools, so. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first. Ah. Collectible diecast cool. miniature. Oh. That's so cool. Hmm. Well. Well, the catalog said it was supposed <laughs> to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kit in a book. <laughs> Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? You order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like. I'm in the cover band <laughs> phase. I want to do my own material like, there. eventually. Yeah, I think you have an awesome molds? Cat. I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy wizards. more molds, but hey. this stupid cat? I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. Well, cat have fun mom. with the metal. Later, Shader. Shader? Can I have that? Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, <laughs> selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. Right. I'm not judging. You do you. Anybody send you any mail yet? Curtis? There's some oh, sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our <laughs> beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Awkward conversation. Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, <laughs> for starters. Who are you? You look like someone from a Pixar movie. 
Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. Oh, yeah. You know what? Carol. Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Team here on the oh, no. I only work with wire to reinforce <laughs> the cloud shoes I make. A correction. What are you on to Used now? To make. Something that will no doubt benefit me in my current situation? Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Mm. Uh oh. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't <laughs> rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh! From what? Oh, Their loving family? Okay, your dick. Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the plague dam. Must be some mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn mm -hmm. cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every <laughs> hook in town. Trying to twist uh -oh. this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang mm. hooks. You lived on a cloud? Yeah. But it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world. Never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud call. You know, that old thing. Alright, I have. So, if this isn't an alien <laughs> planet, why do you talk so funny? Huh. Must be some sort of performer. Damn it, Shay. Glad was so I have a theory. We could squeeze this out of this gentleman. And this <laughs> he's just smiling like everyone wants to be suffocated by a snake. There we go. Oh, hey, you had something caught in your throat. Uh, hey, knock that oh. off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Cute. Mog! Mog Chatra! Struck down by the dead eye god. Only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. Looks like a pitch pipe. I don't know how I to tune that. Put your mouth on another after it was in his. Oh, schematics. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build it. Really? Anything. Did you hear what I just said? As long as it's made out of sand. I don't think sand is superconductive. If it can't be made with sand, it's not worth making at all. Excuse me? Huh? Where did Mog Chothra go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the plague dam. Feeling better? A little, but I won't know for sure until the polls yeah. come in tomorrow. Do you know anything about electronics? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for yeah. elections? <laughs> Do you know if that suit you're wearing blocks Omicron radiation? Hmm, it's actually a very thin material because of the hot shell mound sun, you know. If you look closely, you can oh, almost you see on through me? it. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I it's can build that. anything. As long as it's right. made out of sand. <laughs> oh, do you mean sand? I Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand. As in, the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I don't think sand is going to stick together in that. Once together. upon a time, I would agree with you. But I recently yes, met a mysterious young woman who gave me a secret ingredient. I don't think sand is superconductive. If it can't be made with sand... Right. I'll let you get some rest. <sighs> Back to the tree. Gotta get some sap somehow. 
There we go. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. Ew. It's the hardened <laughs> shell of my sick. Something oh, wait like a minute. by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. So wait. Is that... Alex drew this schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hyper... I don't think that would help me get this hypercam made. Fair enough. What else have we got? Gary's definitely out of range now. I hope he's okay. It's the crochet hook I used to hack my ship's navigation system. Of all the things I could have taken from our ship, I end up with my useless baby radiation suit. Alex drew this schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hyper... Looks like a pitch pipe. Ow! Oh. I don't know how to tune that. Uh. Later, tree. Oh, no more jokes? Now let's go talk to Curtis. My sick. Have fun with the metal. Later, Later shader. shader. Hey, do you think you could use your metal works yes. there to make me one of these? Man, that is one cool sure. looking candle holder. I'd love to make you one, but I work for molds, not diagrams. <sighs> Sorry. But. What? My schematic. <sighs> yes, I do like well, to work from a good plan. I don't understand. Do you know how to build a super con oh, I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. I see. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Duke. That's amazing. Thanks. No, thank you, son for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look hey. like a politician, right, but so I... We need some sick immediately to get this thing to hold together. I'm just gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. Now we just gotta get him to throw up again. Talk to him. Later, tree. Oh, no more jokes? I have paper. Is that it? Hey, do you know this girl? Oh, oh God. I thought paper. Okay. The memories. <laughs> oh, that works too. <laughs> You're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? You know it. A fresh pile of sick. Alright, so this should stick together now. Curtis should be able to make us. A proper... Ew. I know it's just hey, sad, Curtis, but... do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? <laughs> it's a super... Because candle holders so <laughs> crazy. I can totally use this as a mold sure, it's if it's a candle, a candle holder. holder. It's a super <laughs> candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, <laughs> kid. Aw, poor man, yeah. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. Ah, that's perfect. You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using. Let's see yes. how it's relevant to candles. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is gonna make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. Right. <sighs> Check out the rest of his... Oh, the ladder's still here. Forgot that. 
look at how she even got here. Phew, now that was a lot. Wow, ladder. remember this place? Whoa, check out these crazy clouds. Hi. You probably save, right? We can fall at any moment. The final save slot. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Jack Black Brother again. Whitebeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My <laughs> feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. <laughs> now please, for there, stop wasting time. I, uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I, I... No, 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 don't cry, Thanks. whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. Elijah Wood and Jack Black. About to have a scene together. Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Very Nothing light to be of afraid of. <laughs> Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? <laughs> okay. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds. <laughs> There's nothing special about my cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. Guess that checks out. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I, I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. <laughs> okay, see you later. Save one. Not, not too precious about these old saves. It's no death time. What do How you does that big cloud not stay afloat? About my cloud. Okay. Hey, what's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help, but I have failed him. Also, I don't like being called Sorry, buddy. big. Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fether, but after this day, they will only call me Coward. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, Coward. Word. Who's Brother Lightbeard? Our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his lap. a lot about this strange girl. Tell me more about this strange girl. She looked so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. Harmony hates anything heavy. Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the oh, words him. of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Why can't you help Brother Lightbeard? I'm afraid to climb this ladder. Climb the ladder. You're fast enough. Uh, not really, if I'm being honest with myself. You should help Brother Lightbeard. Climb the ladder. Well, see you later. Alright. Unless I need to get this last time. Well. Right. Well.
Oh, man. Welcome back to me. But I was just trying to take Why care of my family. <laughs> or Damn is this sir. some kind of... Egg. That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Ow. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. Maybe I should... I remember you guys. Hi. My name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Huska. This here is Walter. Walter. <laughs> Sticking to that, are you? Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's sure? not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> oh, you mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thra. Mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's Sweet pretty Carol. obvious. Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chathra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Vela, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. Is that a jingle all the way all reference, Mono? Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned Godfrey. Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? <laughs> Sounds like something from a kid's action program. Huh. Yeah, something to entertain little kids, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea yeah, where. Around. I think I might have Get seen your wife. Chill town really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you. Okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. See ya. It's too bad Alex didn't say super fluffy gyroscopic. Because feathers we things. got. Because feathers we got. Such amazing fun. Not good. Hey, hey! You want to buy a cupcake? Yeah, I remember you. Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the meeting feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, it's all colliding. but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the meeting feast right. system. Yeah! Cupcakes, cupcakes against, against lies. lies! I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? No. No, but I support your cause. That's great, but we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. That's, the problem. that's how it happens, yeah, man. Yeah, us too. But we were all More lied often than to. Not. Yes, yes, the way we were. it's always been. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. <laughs> Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question! Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes. 
asking questions until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger until it's big enough to take down a whole mug itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing Persons Awareness Campaign and Revolution by Way of Cupcakes. Certainly has a better way to do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, old man. This time, you're hey, going uh, down. Grandpa. No! <laughs> oh, how'd you do that? <sighs> We've certainly come full circle now. Say there. Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important really? to give it away. Heck you want yeah. some? Well, just enough to buy a cupcake. Here ah. you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Well, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep <laughs> most of it myself to lighten his burden. That'll never hold <laughs> up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a lawyer! Wait for your spin-off game. Why are you beating <laughs> up this little kid? I'm not! I'm teaching him how to fight! I'm on lesson five! <laughs> he me. Not gonna hold up in court. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people <laughs> don't like to see an old man beating up I a little kid. Too. Or the other way yeah. around. Uh-huh. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosting them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. Dang. Almost out of the redstone. Only well, got enough for one more cake. I better save it. Bella. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. Nothing. Nothing check. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? I can't help it. See a blank cupcake, you just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me, with yeah. fighting! Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go, now that Bella's huh. inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog red in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. But well, I still need the cane. It's where I keep the frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. Get a cupcake. On your feet, soldier. I am. Oh. <laughs> a lot of birds. Hey, hey! You want to buy a cupcake? I got the cash the campaign now. Going? It's building cup by cup. Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? Got I got money. Got some amount of money. Great! I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never Aww. let her have any before. And now she's gone. So now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. <laughs> Going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. Well, oh, then, uh, maybe we can give her the cupcake ourselves when we find her. Maybe I should. <laughs> Take that money. <laughs> Alright, we need to get back down to, uh, Carol. All right, this screen. Hey, there's the mom. <clears throat> what happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? Oh, yeah, I never have. I want to say no, but I'm Too worried true. the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. 
And no one ever yeah, no will one again. Did much about it before. I can't have anything to do with it. I'm cool mm. with that. What exactly is a maiden's feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. He didn't know. So Yes, we know that by now. Shay. Bad, then? We know My everything we need to know about when she Maiden's fought the monster. And then some. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time. All those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually <laughs> cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, <laughs> please be my mother. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize Aww. what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chatra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. <laughs> I can't think of any reason that sounds sane. Um, who are you again? My you name is Shay. No idea. I'm not from how here. How much I know. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Balancing like, on that little swing? Uh, let me think. Please? Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have ah, many of those it. around here. Well, <laughs> at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. Sweet. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, you by the way. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a yeah, pattern yeah. and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, I mean, exciting! A dozen other things to do first, but yeah, we'll get around to it. Oh, man. I thought we were done with this clad area earlier, but... It is cheaper for the developers. <laughs> <laughs> Not to get all, you know, but it's true. It's a lot cheaper just to recycle the same screens over and over again. Just change up the content. Your place is kind of a little nexus here. So we do have one piece. Alex. Stupid tree. <laughs> we put it through enough, though. Hopefully we won't have to make it vomit a third time. That'd be cruel. Oh, right. Carol. Five hours. I'm counting. All right, Carol. Hey, Carol. Oh, Seen your whole that's family. so nice to hear. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right, let's get him. Here you are. Here you go. One superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even <laughs> better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive <laughs> surface area. You're mind blown. Brilliant. Oh yeah, that's a really recent advancement in hypercams. What's next? 
So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm, gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay, see you later. Okay. Do you know anything about hypergravity? Okay, what have you? see you later. Okay. Not sure what this strange diamond-shaped socket is for. There's music. What's this? Hmm. Probably need to know that at some point. Boom, boom, boom. This looks so familiar. Vaguely. Best quest of Laura, that's right. Let's talk to Dad, see if he's made any headway. Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan, right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Chum. Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect nice. enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't... Can't you just do a taste <laughs> test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison <laughs> in there. Why? What? Well, it's usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the patch. Force of habit, I guess. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't Blarg. do for some splarg <laughs> right now. So, All cereal right, is acidic? No. It just helps me think. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. And nothing. Well, really? good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao! I she could help us with something. But not anything new for you, sir? Excuse me? Huh? Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole east coast. But you're not one to brag. Who are you? Marshal Du. Who are you? I'm Shay, from Laruna. Laruna? <laughs> you're from the ancient lost city far beyond the plague dam? Huh. <laughs> well, that's not exactly this how flag. it was described to me. I'll let you get some rest. Ah. Real seagulls, not they made of yarn. Take it over. Still working things out, that tree. Snake, got anything else going on over here? I didn't check to see if that's as far as we could go over here, actually. Looks like Mr. Huggy is taking that's a well-deserved break. going on over here. Uh. Oh, great <laughs> sign placement, guys. Where's the warning about the cliff? <laughs> At the bottom? It's pretty good. No, I don't want to touch it now. Mr. Huggy, in case of snake, right. blow... Hmm. I guess we're going... I guess we're going back up to the cliff. We must have missed something. Anything new going on? Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Later, Shader. Do you like that? Is this boarded up for fire safety or something? Uh, yeah, safety. Never know when an inspector's gonna show up. Mm. 
about the paintings. Your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. M-E-T-L. Can I get that cat thing? Looks like your axe is missing. I don't use axes anymore. Hell now yeah. I make the axes. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I will once I get the axe. Notice three year old axe away. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah. Me too. Damn, it's hard. There's a piece missing from this window. Ah, back to the cloud city. Now I derive the scrunch, right? I do. <laughs> what is going on with this ladder? How does that big cloud stay afloat? I mean, I... Okay. How does that big... Okay. How does that big... Okay. Hmm. That way leads to the big ladder off this cloud. Why would they build a fountain for that weirdo? I've seen this face before. <clears throat> Can I just describe the costume? Don't you have any? Ex I'll let you get back. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. I was gonna say, how do we fall in here? This place All is right, no more. Up this way. I've been up here yet. Take us! Take oh, us there, down! Sir. We are <laughs> in our prime! Eat our sweet rewards! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little... Eat our How did they get up here sacred. if they're blind? How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise. From its rotten bed. Up from it. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation proof curtains? <laughs> Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to you? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Uh. I'll fight you for Hell those yeah. robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, We Mr. need your fancy. The old man's cane. But if you find one... Feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. <laughs> I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, uh, we'd love to hey. meet one of your friends. Hey, what was I going to finish talking I'll be back. Them. Yeah, that's what the dead eye god <laughs> said. Long after uh, we are. I remember Bella being down here. Did she get some fruit or something? Wasn't it awful? There's like a leaf that was knocking her around. I don't remember. Ah, here we go. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. Alright. Got us a piece. 
peach. Just like Bella had one earlier. Wait, are we speaking as us worshipping the fruit? Hey, I hey. We Help the little chick. Uh oh. Oh. Ow. You better not move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. Uh. Why would they build a fountain for that weirdo? Or is this some kind of warning about it? Let's see, see if we can get the, uh, the person out of okay. Oh. Maybe hey, hey. something. I got you now! Oh. Can I get that cane, bro? Say that. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! I am! I am. Oh! Uh... The cookie, he liked the cupcakes earlier. Hey, you wanna frost this cupcake? You blind! It already has frosting on it! I'll eat it! No? I don't know how to tune that. Hey, you wanna frost this cupcake? You blind! It already has frosting on it! I'll eat it! Oh wait. I need to start like giving people stuff or trying to. I need to get them a I'll let you get back to your conversation. Uh, okay. I'll let you get, get back to your like conversation. Outfit. Kind of. So, can you make me one of those? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh, yeah. It's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I right, suppose I could something. use this for a reference. There's my can do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. It's not a. Oh, never mind. Be right back with the we'll material. See. Gotta get that cane first somehow. Let's see if these guys need anything. Hey, Husker. Husker. Walter. Walter. Shay. Shay. Do you guys know those girls selling cupcakes over there? Yes, those are our dogs. Ah. They just met, but it seems like they've been friends for years. Watch out for those cupcakes, though. They are not the secret to lightness, I'll tell you. Personally, I only eat the frosting. The sugar keeps my hair shiny and smooth. I tried well, giving the cupcakes to the kid, Take though. care, Shay. This guy likes cupcakes. I don't know what that would do, but... Anybody what? want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, <laughs> but I can't. Something about eating Even my dog's rolls. face. Aw, oh, Husker. That's the best part. Ew. <laughs> In Gross. fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten, you know. Oh, uh, now he's got to get me some... Okay, now we can get some uh, icing from the old man. Uh... Hey, hey. You want to buy a cupcake? I was thinking... 
Yeah, the cupcake or the peach for the pH balance. I got you now! Oh. Here you go. Frost this for me. Hey, wanna frost this? <laughs> now the cane's useless, right? Oh, darn. Why'd I go and do that? Now I don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for Velva. You can give her this one. You know, do oh, like hey, it. Good idea. Here, That's you gross. can take my empty. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Okay. Okay. That's an okay. That <laughs> says I have no plans to do that. Alright, we're starting to get somewhere. We just gotta start giving people stuff. Hey, hey! You want to buy a cupcake? Help the little chick. I don't know how to tune that. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. There you go. <laughs> hey, sorry to wake you, but have you seen this girl? Thank you. Oh, they were friends. Didn't really do anything, but. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. I don't think I should cane them. We'll return in time. All right. Time for the big face off. From showdown. It doesn't have any frosting. Ah, dude. It's all right. Get right back up. Bird friend. Let's do this thing. Pits. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. Uh-oh. She just murders him. You're lucky she's blind, oh, yeah. kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because... I can see. What? I've been I've been pretending to what? be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really oh had the God, faith I like the you, Courtney. But I don't have the oh. faith, Dawn. I was pretending oh. too. So well, I could be now. like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling <laughs> artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Wow. Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't oh. want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant sweet. to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and it's study hotel management. I want to study graphic design Hell and yeah. start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. Can I get your, uh... Wait... But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Oh. Cool. Ah! Uh, Alright. <laughs> the naked ladies flew off into the sun. Oh, that's what I get for learning to fence with candy canes. He's still sucking those peaches down there. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Have that radiation suit. Wait, we're friends now. Maybe uh get the egg now that we're friends. I just wanna help or the not. little chick. Or not. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? 
Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right we'll back! Come back for you! Come on, Vera! Oh! Oh, I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great! But what's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent. Nice. It's a little more feathery than the radiation suits I'm used to. Occurred to me. Kind of get the the juicer mabob from this guy. But in addition to just having peach. Maybe I should. Uh Even this place is real. I didn't actually talk to this guy earlier. How's the fruit? Uh, it's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest yeah. to the hunter. <laughs> Taking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in yeah, on a little gross. secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a Ew. bathroom. Oh. There are people down below. <laughs> I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, <laughs> man. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, yeah. man. What's the big healthy rush? Well... Recently, I was all hung up on my own under <laughs> my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something in the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing and giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I, I don't have a cold huh. or anything. Okay. I don't care anymore I'll about you. Back to your Give me what I want. Bye. Sorry to say, but that's sort of how I do business. I know. That's what I'm saying. We can tap this thing now. And get that pH to seven, right? Coming together. We're getting close. Yeah. I wonder what would happen Trying if I on everything. fully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course. Just into the outer layer Hidden of the shell. shell. Oh, God. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to you kill You kind of sound like a Bobcat Goldthwait in training that guy, but he's from the great... No. That was the Critter yeah. Adventure Time. Creator of Adventure Time. Good call. Wish I knew how to help you, bro. That's the one I'm hung up on. Alright, let's get that pH where it's meant to be. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh, the tree cracks me up. Damn it, Carol. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Same thing. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but right, I'm using right, it all right. up trying to make... Well, all good right. luck and good fishing, Carol. You gotta find something, Ciao. Carol. That's obvious. All right, let's save in case we mess up this pH. Seven. Magic number. Hello, Dad. Dad? Son? Dad? Did you know we were in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the <laughs> ship's exterior, I Such found many as. anomalies I couldn't explain. Yeah. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? Mm. What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, <laughs> who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work oh of the Thrushmaster. I don't think the I need to know head of Operation anymore. Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? I'm going to see what I can find out. Okay, I'm going to stay here and gather yeah, my thoughts. It's code for let your son do all the work. That might affect the pH, but until I figure out a way to measure it, I better not experiment. Dad? Son? How's the whole patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. Damn Good it. luck, Dad. Give it to him. Mm hmm. Like you said. Try this. I'm going Not to save my dad. juice for a higher purpose. That might affect the pH, but until I figure out a way to. Ma I need to help Dad balance the pH of his whole pouch mixture. If only I had my instruments. Instruments? That might affect the pH, but Spoon? until I figure out a way to measure it. Well, Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid sound <laughs> concoction. Nope. <laughs> Just dipping your toes in it. But sir, <laughs> I... Oh my. Not to question the mission, <laughs> sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into There's that toxic spoon. potion? I forgot about that. What's the acidity of that compound spoon? The mixture has a pH balance of eight. Exactly. Eight. We need to get it to seven. Exactly. Okay. It's seven. Hang on there, son. Do you know how no. acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will. With math. pleasure, sir. Love math. Mm, worth a shot. Got a pH reading for me? The mixture has a pH balance of six. With minus exactly. two. We need to get it to seven. Exactly. Minus two. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all Rub kinds in. of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where to six? How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of nine. Kay. Exactly. So if I one put the final more ingredient in now, the whole batch will become unstable. Should be where we need it. Any luck? I'm Heck yeah. a pH level of seven. Eureka! It's perfectly <laughs> balanced, sir. It's nice so work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. Uh, it's 
perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love <laughs> science. Mmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, I still need that's a radiation it. suit. Hmm. Gotta replace yeah, my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Let's get in the suit, at least. Hey, I got a radiation suit. Great! Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Just <laughs> tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. Okay. Okay, see you later. Wait a minute. Okay. Could this be our tech expert? How about He's this little dead. guy? Would he help? On my ship, they were good at fixing all kinds of things, especially electronics. Incredible. Much more advanced than the units I'm used to. He's probably exactly what we need. But it looks wiring. like some rewiring. Carol. That tech is way beyond me. Hmm. Hey, there's a big sparking hole in the floor. That's your superconductive gyroscopic hypercam <laughs> in action, man. Works like crazy. Well, look at that. Okay. Nice. Thanks for coming together. We're almost there. Maybe, now that we've talked to uh, Alex about the little guy, maybe Carol can help? Maybe we can show. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to Carol, hear. Carol, help me. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Just help well, me. Good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao. I don't think she can <laughs> fix dead hexapels. Yeah. I'm too busy relaxing. Oh, said two seconds ago. Humans are just. Later, tree. Oh, no more jokes. No more jokes. Do I have any jokes? Later, tree. Oh, yes. no more jokes. attempt with Jack Black and we're missing something here <laughs> talking to this guy well see you later don't give up <sighs> maybe talking to him while we're on the ladder again there we go. For there. Hello? Can you rescue Harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Go get help. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard's side, or his underneath, or whatever. <laughs> Can you untie that bow on Harm Me's cloud? Why would I do that? because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, uh. yeah. The big old nasty-looking kind. Thanks. That's awful. Looks like something I might need to save and come back to. Put five for that one. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Work it apart with your fingers. I think I see what you mean. Uh. Hmm, I don't think that was right. Uh, uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new 
terrible nut. Uh, so maybe we don't want that. Like a way to get out of, uh... Hmm. Let's go back. Back here. No. It's fun. Can you untie the expose him for the fraud? To ex because it's a hmm. Sounds not bad. Expert. I better go find a not expert for advice. Yeah, like a professional. <laughs> okay. Daddy Carol. <laughs> never fails. Well, I don't know if I would call it failing what he did, but it wasn't right. I know that. I hate that I have to go around this way every time. Hey, tree. Please, care. For the love of God. You're the crafty person around here. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Ah, there we go. You seem good with your hands. You know anything about knots? Sure. Untying. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? Uh. Bit like you, strangely enough. Uh. Bucket of fingers. Like a bucket of fingers. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. Alex had I guess a pencil I'm of no use here. after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Fetch quest like whoa. But yeah, Alex definitely had a pencil. I'm sure he'll lend it to us. He's that kind of guy. Yo, give me that pencil, Alex. Space pencil. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, <laughs> but okay. Thanks, Al. Okay. All over. Hey, Carol. Well, hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. Wait. This diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots. Uh... I hope this works out. I thought we did see the knot. With the save. I don't know, and like after? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's do a save over, let's say, six. Further, could you try to describe... Further, could you try to describe that knot to me? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, really. it does look like... 
what I told her. Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. okay. I will laugh at that fun if this works. Make the baby play patty cake. Tickle the foot. Pull apart the fighting snakes. She loves me, she loves me not. I say, is that tickle the foot? Tickle the foot. You mean something like, ooh, I think I messed it up. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, like a whole new terrible knot. Hang on, I'm gonna get a new diagram and be right back. Okay. This is awful. What's it look like this time? I would say... A mathematical formula. Like a... Okay. I like that it... Okay. I do like this. That's nice. <laughs> nice feature. Further? Let's give that... Alright. Make the boats go under the bridge. Make the boat go under the bridge. I think I see what you mean. That helped a little. Yep. Ooh, I, I don't know if I should say this on the stream. Insert your finger into... Or is that playing patty cake? Make water come out of the cup? What does that look like to you folks? Is this the foot? That tickling a foot right there? Oh yeah, I see it. Good call. Tickle the foot. Thanks, Rich. You mean something like take that, yeah. no? And then she loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Right. Right. Not so ah, tough there you now, go. are you? Huh? I got it. <laughs> hey, get your wrench off that. He's got. What the heck? Now fix your eyes. For their get our thruster. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding <laughs> junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some oh of this no, stuff someday. Oh no, but hoarder. everything you said about lightness, I, I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and I'll oh, this get is a bad. Hey. Is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? That's like something like a full no idea, throttle. But Why, you're welcome yes, you to take it. What? No! That's mine! My lightness! As a matter of fact, is there any place Hell you'd yeah. like it delivered? Alright, people. Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No. I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously <laughs> a grown man, right? My lightness. All right, we just need, we just need the dude. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm. Let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, once we take care of that, we'll yeah. be ready to fly. On it. Okay. See you later. Okay. Alright, so Carol can fix this, but... Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch. But I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Dang it, Carol. I'm well, gonna give you everything in my fishing, pants. Carol. Ciao! I wonder if I could bend this spoon into a fish hook. <laughs> I hope you're kidding, sir. This button only works on grabbing air. Need a hook? Hell yeah. Sure do. Uh. Oh, uh, look, kid. That's a nice hook, but I'm not fishing for minnows, you know. What? This is a great hook. I'll... I'll prove it to you. Sure, kid. Yep. 
fishing with it or something? Need anything tuned? Can you tune uh, a fish? Uh, <laughs> Get kind it? of. Kind of. <laughs> Have you seen this girl? Hey, that's the girl who found a way off of Mariloft for all of us. Really great kid. I hope I get to thank her someday. I bet there's a, uh, like, dealie with showing that picture to everyone that she had contact with. I don't think she can fix dead hexapals. Yeah, I'm too busy relaxed. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, the fish is up there now. Can you get along? I can't reach it. Don't forget to tip your waitresses. I usually give them one worm <laughs> per drink. I wish I could shake it down. Uh oh. I smell tartar sauce. <laughs> hey, tree. Tree. <laughs> Human. We have fish. That fish up there in your branches. Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Ah, I'll make him laugh. Hey, want to hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Sammy saw. Don't you know? Or do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't <laughs> believe in tree murder. <laughs> Never mind. Wow. Okay. Suck the funny out of a room. <sighs> okay. No oaks policy. Did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? What? In this day and age? Uh, that's not even funny. It closed down. Well, good riddance <laughs> and no wonder. That policy was certainly a joke. You're right about that. But there's certainly <laughs> nothing funny about it. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, because the Sammy okay. saw probably Let just me made vomit on me. <sighs> okay. Oh, beat the pine tree. President of the chipmunks get impeached. Why did the president of the chipmunks get impeached? Ooh, I bet he did something <laughs> cheeky. Am I right? Hey, this is my joke. Okay, okay. What did he do? <laughs> I heard he had <laughs> one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. There are I thought that was around. great. I, I didn't mean. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Nothing about lumberjacks. Did you hear about the First Fresh National out. Tree Bank? No. What? I have all my money in the First National Tree <laughs> Bank. So seriously. The coffee there is... They have free cookies there. What? It closed down. Oh, no. <laughs> my whole life savings. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. It just started a new <laughs> branch. Oh. That's great. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> he loves it. That was nice and wholesome. You get a run and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes, how's that thing talking? Oh, that's oh, creepy. I love this tree. The tree and the knife are probably my two favorites. Okay, just stay quiet. Honey. <laughs> Sugar pa baby mine. Shh. Gotta pass you off to Carol, I'm guessing. This is like when Tony was playing Monkey Island. This fish has already been caught. It doesn't need to be. Nah, that joke's too easy. Look what I caught. <laughs> What's that? You get a lo lot of fish <laughs> when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? Wow. On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Okay, <laughs> you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the fish reaper. Or freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your freeper for a little while? It's like a part of my body. 
but please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauties. Alright. Now fix our little guy. Where are we on now? Seven? Guess. Okay. Let's wire him up. Hmm. Looks like this little guy lost all his low-level wiring. That explains why he's out cold. Uh. Let's wire this terminal. I don't know. Like a pentagram or something? This one looks good. Now, I'm no. out of wire. Uh, let me put that somewhere else. Hmm. Does Alex have any ideas? Gonna wire this guy. I guess that's a volcano. They look so different. Talk about that. Oh, are we moving? Have you <laughs> noticed that your ship's sort of Is that a prop? shaking now? That's the heavy duty anti gravity thrust uh -huh. warming up. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast Sweet. us out of here. Oh, oh man. Man. Okay, see you later. Okay. He's got the wiring in him. All right, so yeah, can you do that? How about this little guy? Would he help? On my ship, they were good at fixing all kinds. Ah, jeez. Can I go through this door my dad used? No, you don't want to go down there yet. Very unsafe. Many sub levels are structurally unsound. Who knows Not if it's breathable? Plus, there's some rogue automatons I've yet to get under control. Why didn't you warn my dad about that stuff? Didn't you see the look in his eyes? I knew there was no stopping him. Does she have anything going on? Are they still... are we still sitting here? Any status change on creepy... No. He's still monitoring the nav system. Rats! Nothing to do but wait, I guess. This is a sweet picture. Yeah, it helps me remember. He wasn't always. There's some toad here. Oh, is that how I want to like? I don't know. Is that how I want to string it? No, I'm out of wire. There's only two more choices after this. Heck yeah! About that I don't know why. Crushed it. Hey, thanks, he's Matthew. Alive. You're alive, little buddy. How do you feel? Oh, he's so happy. So glad to have you back. Nice. Guess I gotta give him to him. Okay, see you later. Okay. We can be done. <laughs> hey, how about this little he's guy? He's all ready to, he help. to help. Wow, look at him go. And he knows electronics. Great. He might just be the genius I was looking for. <laughs> yep. And they do windows. <laughs> well, <laughs> I couldn't no, patch everything. Matthew. <laughs> but the main living areas should hold together now. Well then, that means this ship is ready to fly to Laruna. How about you guys? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, here Finally. we go. Stop. You aren't going anywhere. What? Who are you guys? Ellis Pam! We've uh -oh. been talking to people. And we've connected some dots. Hope it was less annoying than what I just had to connect. She barked you up. Please tell us where our daughter is. She's... She's gone beyond the plague day. We're all going after her. Who's we? It sounds like all of us. Yeah, um, I had already initiated <laughs> launch, but, um... Nice to meet you guys. I'm a friend of your daughter's. <laughs> Guess we're all going up together. Clarence, the Dead Eye God has truly risen. 
and exposed a whole new segment of beachfront property for development. Looks like this day turned out okay after all. You're just in time. Marikai is leaving the ship. Look, there he goes. Is everything else ready? I baked the cake, put it in the oven. Great, then let's get out of here. Thank you for getting my baking <laughs> reference. something? Time to see if the ship's communication system still works. Hello. Uh, ahoy. This, this is the star uh, airship Malaruna requesting re-entry. Very official. Um, I've been gone a long time, but if you could just open the door, we'll come in and explain. Alex, I don't think that's going to... Oh, never mind. Look at that. Yes. Oh, wait a second. <gasps> What's that? Dad, is that? That's Messed up our company. ship. You think Mom's on board? Brace yourself. Oh. You hit the... Hey, we're all on autopilot. So look, since we're so close, I'll extend our gangway and you can use it to go say hi. <laughs> it's way too short. What, you're afraid of a little jump? They're firing at her. Quick, back up. Let them get out of range. I told you, autopilot. Well, do something. Okay, everybody be quiet. I need to think. Uh. Why are they shooting? You said this was your home. People, this is just some sort of misunderstanding. I've been gone 300 years. Give them a break, okay? As soon as I figure out the hailing frequency, I'll tell them who I am and we'll all be laughing about this. I hope you're right, Alex. <laughs> hey, Alex? Not now, Shay. I need to get through to someone who can get us out of this mess. Okay. Anybody else? Just to go over it one more time, you guys are totally clear that I wasn't kidnapping <laughs> maidens on purpose. Not the time. Right? Yes, yes, we know, Shay. It's a lot to take in. But I think we get the general. Sure. We'll give you a pass for now. But when I see my sister again, she better back up your story. Yeah. I see you got your cane back. Great. A purple bird brought it back to him. Huh. Empty. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got jumped by a couple of druids. Ow. And... You're right. You're right. No excuses. You guys just sit tight. We're going to figure this out real soon, okay? We won't move. Right? Yeah. <sighs> yes. Ah, uh, she's dancing with the little. Hello. Hey, I didn't know our little electrical Light genius could again. dance. Yeah, I just moved some wires no. around on her back, and she started dancing. Better, I will slap you. It took me way too long to figure that out. Anybody there? What we got? We 
I got the spoon. Gary? Oh, grab it, Gary. Hey, Gary. It's grabbing time again. That's grabbing, right? What the? Why are we grappling the other ship with our cargo loaders? Who's doing that? Hey, why are these boom arm controls set to manual? Must have been flipped by the incoming fire. What's next? Rats! My mom must have set the boom arms back to centralized control. <laughs> okay. Bella? You got anything? Any ideas? Prejudice. Hey, I think that ship... I think it belongs to my friend Alex. I can't believe he got that thing running. <laughs> well, go around it then. We're under fire. I would love to, Captain Volta. But you know what... Hey, mind if I... Oh, please don't touch those. I control all the ship's systems from here. I just wanted to blow pushy. up the ship. Because that's one of the things you can do there. People at the back oh. end? No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Never looking at that stupid photo it's again. Out of my control. We are going to get. Short. Right, safe. In case we get. Blown up. Is there no saving at this point? That's kind of weird. Ah, oh, there. Let's go back to two. Or one. Is that one or two? I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Little girl, what Aww, have I put you to? It looks like all no, your no wires more wiring. Got out. Please, poor thing. Stick with me. No. I'll make it right. <laughs> no more wires. Oh. Mogs. Just when you think you've taken care of them all, another one shows up. Guess I'd better eliminate these two before they breed. Uh, what do we got? Oh, hell yeah. Let's hope that big open window makes for better reception. Shoot it. Darn. Didn't hit anything. What the? How did that... Uh. Bella. Her hot-headedness <laughs> is gonna get us all killed. It's already too hot to touch. I'm gonna have to kill the circuit in the power room. Stay here. There are some, uh, legacy features of the ship down below that can be unpredictable. My dad's still down there? Oh, this How'd this thing get set again? Ah. Oh, come on! We were this close to a real meltdown. Quit being such a fraidy cat, Alex. With the sad stuff, Magchatra. And there's a uh, work. It's this scrap wire might come in handy if I wanted to repair something. Marakai, where uh. are you? What caused that explosion? Uh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> How do you turn boy. this off? You! What's happened to Marakai? Uh... Can you be <laughs> more specific? Which part of him are you looking for? You! Violent abomination! I'm starting to see why Marakai was so taken with you. 
Well, that smile. Stop shooting at us and let us go. You're a terrorist, and you will face justice. Plus, we still need you, Vela. Mm. What do you need me for? To true the formation in our bloodline. Yeah, what? Is truing the formation as creepy as that. it sounds? We nurtured and disciplined our bloodline for hundreds of years, removing impurities. Nazis. And built the plague down to keep them out forever. Unfortunately, it turns out that some of those impurities were necessary. Like we don't so know how to dance we have with hexapals. We've also become somewhat delicate. We are a house made out of fine crystal, but we still need rocks and clay for the foundation. That's way of putting it. That's where you come we in. We are slaves, essentially. So, you just need a blood sample for me or something? Oh, Vela, this isn't a simple matter of chromosomes. Those we could synthesize. We need the whole picture. Your environment, your psyche, your very being. Our processing extracts it all. Sounds like you want to put me in a blender. The rendering process ends your short first life but grants you immortality through the lives of future Varunians. I like my first right. life. Why did you I, use the boy? Because even our wisest bloodline ministers cannot discern the precise combination of impurities that will make us whole. But at a certain age, a young man, when raised outside of Laruna, has instincts for these things. Adventure, heroism, Conquest. His youthful lusts are sacred to us. <laughs> I knew I was going to regret talking to you. So, what will happen to Shay? He was going to return to Maruna and be celebrated as a hero for the rest of his life. But when you downed his ship, you sealed his fate. Now, he has seen too much. Why do you pretend these ships are in space? Several of our first parent teams, upon witnessing the Badlands, succumbed to their pull and settled there forever. Obviously, the frightening visuals drove them mad. So now, we protect them. Your system is gross, one-sided, and it hurts people. And you don't even need it. Tear down this plague Mr. dam and build a bridge over this gorge. Let people interact in a natural way. I would think you charmingly naive if what you were <laughs> saying wasn't so horrific and disgusting. If you're so weak and fragile, maybe we should just rise up and get rid of the mob. <laughs> we talked that fight right out of you long ago. Isn't that right, Selavina? Come on, let's get this good time over with! Lavina! What the...? Please, excuse me. I need to go end your entire way Hell of doing yeah. things. You'll never... Oh, yeah! But let's save. Not that I'm not as confident as Vela, but well, let's save. Okay. Do we know why this little guy? And this terminal goes, and that's all the one. Oh, okay. Cool. That was a lot easier. Wait, are you working? Hey, little buddy. That was a lot easier. Little worker. Fix stuff. Okay, we need a bridge. Surely the ship's shields will protect us. You need this? Wow, that's hard to see. Ship's shields. <laughs> Just kinda awkward. 
awkwardly standing there. <laughs> Did I fix it? I don't there even know. There are no ship shields. We threw the fusion orb out the trash. <laughs> yeah, my bad. There is no protocol for this situation. I don't know if that was the solution or not. I mean, it came back alive. That's something. I just hooked it up because those were the ones that were shorted. They looked like they were burnt out. Oh, hey, son. Dad! I don't what know are if you it doing worked here? or not. Uh, just patching up a few more holes. Seems like every time I fix one... Oh, gotta go. Oh, that was evil hexapals? Did you see something? What? Another breach? No, not exactly. Oh, good. Because I have enough to worry about up here. Looks like part of the old ship. God. There's a decayed old logbook here. Mm. I should like try to write that down somehow. This is Hello. So now that should be the first one. And then cruiser Malaruna. Maybe that? Other end goes here. We're outside the gate requesting entry. And then maybe that. And that's all the wire I've been gone. Like a long. That's the heart plane pattern. That's the heart plane pattern, people. He's an answer. Alright, let's remember that uh this bottom left is harp. Wish I could name that. That's harp. Mayday, okay. mayday. Let's go down there and uh, see what this little guy can do. Looks right, at least. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. Alright, so they're preoccupied now. <sighs> what? What? Hey, this switch is oh, just nice. an old drum mallet. I hope the engine's not just an old tuba. Somebody stole the sweep. Oh okay. yeah, that was me. Yeah, another one. There, oh, now the power's back on. Power. I think. Still pretty loud. Okay. <laughs> oh, like but it. like. Yeah, that's enough heart <laughs> music for now. Hey, I think you've got people in there. It's not a very loud way to play the drums. Gotta uh, rewire the new... Son of a... Ah, I don't... <laughs> Alright. I'm pulling up a walkthrough, man. This is... 3, 4, 2, 1, 6. I hate everything. That's all the wire. I hate everything, people. Now we're talking. Hey, what's going on down here? Put those things down and be Shut quiet. Shut up, Alex. Please. You know how long it took me to get that little thing 
I'm trying to talk to Laruna upstairs, and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. Okay. Alright, walk through what now? Alright, this is an hour ago. So we need to, uh... I think I said that was the harp, right? Go down here for this. So I need to recall this save now. Um... Because I don't think I remember that one. Because I have to check and see how I wired my little guy. Because I need this wiring. Anybody there? Alright, this was... Hello? Did the wiring matter? So it's like this that. Is the Dandelion Cruiser, Malaruna. So... Five... The gate, requesting entry. Two... Two... Four... My name's Alex. Four, five. Five, two, two, four, four, five. Long five, two, two, four, four, five. Five. So it's like that. And that's... Huh. Thank uh, that's you so much, Chess Channel. Evocative. Alright, now we are going to the uh, space. Brain is so shot and fried, I don't even know where that is now. It's back this way. <sighs> Here we are. Surely the ship's shields will protect us. There are no ship shields. Sorry, I'm not looking for an intern right now. Excuse me. What protocol calls for the disposal of our... There is no protocol for this situation. This is... <laughs> hey! That is extremely sensitive. <laughs> Space Weaver, report. I'm experiencing severe... <laughs> what? It's not just like... What is it? Are you remembering the pattern? Stop. Figuring that out? It's like remembering which... <laughs> Is associated with which move and knowing which move you need here. I mean, this is this is rough. Good job, little girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? Oh, Bella, watch my controls Shut up, for a bit, would you? Our navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. when I put this up. <laughs> well, let Tony do that, actually. Can I save here? Pain. That's because they were talking. Uh, I guess one is fine at this point. Seven hours in. <laughs> Five hours of that was just rewiring. I, I beg of you! <laughs> Alright. Let's hope this isn't the self-destruct button. Ourselves outside of the space we were door. Don't ask me why. We're going on a walk through here. Switch to shades. Alright, so we get sucked down. Gary? Come in, Gary. It's grabbing time again. Good work, Gary. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. Grab a gear remote. Death ray remote.
meltdown has started. Everybody, out! The other ship is melting down and it's taking us with it! Messed up the wiring slightly, everyone dies. Over Sorry. here! You have to jump! <gasps> I'll catch you! Definitely can't make that jump. Mom! Dad! Watch out! <gasps> no! Hey! Mary! Oh. Seriously, you can't make that jump. <coughs> I thought you were a <coughs> baker. Okay. Yeah. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Cream jetpack now. No. Yep, I rewired it wrong. One big mixed family now. Beautiful. there at the end. They could have, you know. After all that wiring business, I think we deserved a hug. Well, the fork and the spoon got together and they banged and made a spork. How useful is the spork? It's too bad, I kind of like the cut of that knife. No pun intended. Shocker, I know. Cut of its jib. all that stupid rewiring stuff that was a lot of, that was nice yeah, Elijah Wood and 
Jack Black. Bella was the sauce. Yeah. Okay. That's cool that we got a lot of the uh, kickstart backers in the chat who watched this live. I did not, uh, I did not kickstart it or add to the kickstart support. I was not born yet. I think this game came out in what, 2010? Something like that? <sighs> Give it a massive cupcake, and there it is. All the families. A little, uh, man, I was making all those comments about how much I loved those little hexapals and everything. And that's before I had to get back in their nitty gritty and see what made them tick. Oh, gosh. Before that, I was like, these guys need their own spinoff, sort of like the minions. Now I'm not so sure. Our hero. That's nice. It's a massive cake. <laughs> Ron Gilbert. Wait, when did this come out? I don't remember. Oh man. Look at all of those. This is gonna take forever. You joking my ass? Oh no! Is it moving faster? That's kind of mean to the people who whose names don't start with an A. <laughs> like this, this literally is gonna take like. 30 minutes. Ugh. I mean, how much do 
people want to see their names here. <laughs> Let's... Yeah. Mono wants to see his name. Why didn't you beat the damn game? That's how you can see your name. <laughs> well, we're on the seas. <laughs> I'll let you know when you can stop. <laughs> oh, thank you. What's it start with? It's a J, alright. Ah, so many Chris's. You could have paused it on Chris, and Chris's would have taken up the entire screen. There'd be like a way to fast forward a little bit. No. I don't want to like click through it. <laughs> so I finally got around to reading the dictionary the other day. Turns out the zebra did it. Oh, I get jokes. Dick Barrett, as in Dickie Barrett? Lead singer of the Mighty Mighty Boston? Meowdy meowdy by stones. <sighs> Felicia Day. <laughs> Felicia Day. Maybe put ten bucks in. And there she is. I didn't look for Adam Sessler, oh man. Just like trying to think of all the uh all my G4 people. Gotta look for Morgan Webb now. Who I'm told is not going to how do we get on the H's already? Alright, we're moving now, people. Not a lot of H people supported the game. What's that about? Hanks and Henry's and Alright, we're on the J's. Mono, let me let me know if you see your name. A guy brushed three points with list. I'm sure some guy definitely named himself or submitted that. A lot of Jasons. Jasons know what's up. Johnny Extreme. <laughs> Jets famously love the work of Tim Schafer. A lot of Johns. John Feldman. Feldar. They're probably like, you know what, if we don't get them all, what are they going to know, you know? There's too many names. I'm just say, oh, you missed it. You didn't look close enough. Look right here. Deuce. There's your name. That guy's strategy worked. Alright, we're getting it in the mats. I don't know if you put it down as Matt or Matthew. I did not see your name. <laughs> For what it's worth, Matt, I did not see it. Alright, we good? People? If they put, like... You know, whatever you, a stinger or whatever bonus thing at the end of this, then. That's cruel. Okay, that's possibly more cruel than the wiring. 
Okay. Wow. But that is it. Broken Age. Not loving that ending, I have to say. Thought there could have been a little bit more going on there. Didn't love the rewiring puzzle. Other than that, very nice kind of throwback adventure game with some lovely graphics, some lovely voice acting. And you all have been so lovely for... <laughs> lovely? Lovely for watching. It's very late at night as I finish this recording. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's always nice when I get my own little series here. And, uh, I guess I'll go out with the phrase. We'll see you next time for more fun, fun times. Right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I put up a new video or go live with one of these fantastic games. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.